Hold on, we got... It's, it's, it's kind of a scale. There is a scale somewhere in the back there. Very, very cool. Very neat. Very, very neat. Ah, oh, dude, I always love whenever, like, you hear the same song again and again, and it changes every every single time, just like this. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BNR stream today on this fine 22nd of January, 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, it was fairly temperate, fairly cool, and fairly chill. I well, not chill, like cold, because it did. We did. We had a a scorchy yesterday. Wasn't it 38. Uh, I get to talk about the weather. I'm gonna boot up Quake 2, because I know people probably want to see Quake 2. Here we go, Quake 2. Oh, I gotta, I gotta open, open the game. Here we go. How easy can, can we switch over to it? What? Easy. Easy money. Easy money. Uh, but yeah, no, I've had a wonderful week. Um, getting back into, well, yeah, it's not really back into the swing of things. It's more, uh, man, this guy keeps aiming for the floor, just like me. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I don't really have a lot to say. It's just kind of been like a regular old week. Um, nothing amazing, but nothing bad at all. Lots of actually fairly decent stuff. How about, let's jump right into it, shall we? So, in the last stream, uh, I was playing Quake 2. I, I think you can tell. We did the Reckoning, the first expansion, uh, developed by Yatrix Entertainment. We're going to do the second expansion, released, uh, near the end of 1998 was Quake 2 Ground Zero, developed by Rogue Entertainment. Rogue Entertainment is a uh, studio, I believe they were on the same, like, in the same office as Zid. Uh, and Rogue Entertainment uh, made Strife, which is a game that I have definitely played on this channel. Uh, and I've enjoyed a ton. I, I, I did enjoy Strife a bunch. Um, this is uh, another Quake 2 expansion, can you tell? Can you tell? I've sort of reached this point where it's like I like I can't I can't recall quite the difference between all these different expansions. I don't know if they could tell the original dialogue and just went eh, close enough. Something's wrong with the G diffuser. Oh. Look at all these guys popping in, jeez. Uh, but yeah, this expansion is um, a little more infamous because its difficulty is a little out of line with the other ones. A lot of a lot of people note Quake 2 Ground Zeroes is weirdly more difficult. Um, I cannot remember off the top of my head, but we'll probably see. Uh, from memory, I think it's got... Because the previous expansion actually didn't have any medics in it, even though that there are, that is a base Quake 2 enemy. But... Uh, no, they um they didn't actually they didn't offer any medics, but uh Ground Zeros, oh boy, I think they, they use them a ton. Always oh, going in. And away we go, away we start with the lower mines. We jump right into the mines. Uh I like the aesthetic. We're we're at least starting off with something a little different. We've got this lava vibe going on. Um also don't take a shot, take like a like a drop of your, your alcoholic beverage of choice if you uh, see the flying enemies. So I love how there's double damage here. Remember, uh, these two expansions are generally independent, so they won't have anything new that was brought by the other expansion. So uh, any of those new cool weapons from the previous expansion, you know, you're going to have to say bye-bye for a moment because uh, they're not going to be here. The, uh, the dual, the dual uh, fire um, power-up, also not here. You're not going to see... Uh, any of that, but you will see new things such as that actual double damage. Basically, their excuse to give a damage power up more often. This is a bit awkward. This is a bit very awkward. Okay. <laughs> At least they give you the double shotty right away. Jeez, how long did it take in um in a uh, the reckoning to come up with that? I hope you like this fog as well. I love this fog. It's just red haze right here. Um. But yeah, uh, this this expansion is also, uh, well, this, in fact, not even this expansion. This hub 
Well, first of all, this expansion is broken down into five hubs, uh, just like the last one, almost. Because um, I sort of broke one off. Um, I think the first two are generally longer than the others. Also, we got a Tesla. A Tesla. Elon Musk. We, 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 we've got your copyright patent right here. I think anything with electronics is like, you know, primed for the word Tesla. Just magnets. Electromagnets, maybe. Um, well, there's lots of little dudes up here. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see that. I see it. Uh, <laughs> they're not seeking an explosion, are they? I don't really know where all the secrets are in this one, but... This first world, this first uh, unit, is indeed uh, primed to uh, the only <laughs> secret level in the entirety of either Quake 2 expansion. Now, we'll get into a bunch of secret levels when we get into um, the uh, later... Oh, wait. I see exactly what this is about to do. Uh, the Call of the Machine uh, expansion that we'll get into very, very later will be... There we go. Infrared goggles. I hope it doesn't make everything just red. It makes everything just red. Uh, this also comes in replacement of a flashlight. We do not have a flashlight in uh, this version. Uh, I keep wandering down this corridor. Um, nope. Okay. I swear there was something up there, but I oh, will keep looking around. Or maybe not. So, so yeah, so the exit of this hub is right here. Ah, oh, stuff at the compass. Oh, was I not in the right place? Was I not in the right place? Who knows? Um. Was I not going the right way? Oh, I just didn't go up the second set of stairs. I'm an idiot. <laughs> How many times did I walk past that? Oh my gosh. Um. But uh, yeah, we got the only uh, secret level going on here. So, but that we'll get into that when we get into that. But now, taking to the taking to the sights, taking the sounds. Appreciate everything different. If uh, you've seen anything different, we haven't dropped into any new enemies just yet. Got to get some mind doors. Uh, but yeah, no, I hope you all are having a wonderful. Um, you know, it's not quite the end of January, but you know, we're weirdly getting. You know, closer there than, uh, like, oh no, I, sh I shot the grenade launcher as if it were an enemy. Oh, I'm actually wedged. The flying guys are okay, but when I've got, like, so many enemies all of a sudden, it's like, ooh, ooh, it's a bit iffy, but we'll get there. jump, I can't deal with it. Also, we're going to have a lot of these weird little platforms here where it's just like you have to I don't know, lift operated. I'm losing a lot of my health just right now. Jeez. We'll commit, we'll commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. Um... But yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's it's getting close to the end of the month, but it's not yet the end of the month, so that's all good, but, uh... Yeah, oh my gosh, jeez. Seriously, there's not <laughs> I, like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not getting out of the, the rut just yet. And I picked hard anyway, so, you know, it's all on me. I had an enemy in the box. Lots of enemies in the boxes, jeez. Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't shoot that one in particular. I think. If I remember off the top of my head. But yeah, you gotta act you gotta like press these lift buttons to activate them. And you can come around this area in like one of two directions, so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. them off easy easy money um yeah we got we got a couple of topics uh today 
a um, couple of actual big ones, and not me just rambling about uh, <laughs> certain things on the internet, but well, there's, there's still certain things on the internet. Um, so let's jump into the big one, which is, uh, this is, this, well, a couple of days ago, I think it's been three days? Three days. Uh, the early access release of a game called Power World came out. Power World is a game that I remember mentioning the moment that trailer dropped sometime in 2022. I think it was close to the Game Awards, but it wasn't, like, actually the Game Awards. Um, I think so. Uh, and I remember just going, this game looks hilarious, and I hope it's pretty okay. Uh, I then also realized that the development studio, or at least the publishers, um, have uh, a couple of games that are sort of juggling at the same time. Uh, one of which is called Craftopia, still in early access. So I was like, oh, you know, like I'm not 100% hopeful, but I am at least looking forward to seeing what they do with this. Um, don't exactly know if, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No one saw that. No one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. Um, so it came out a couple of days ago, still in early access, um, but uh, definitely with a couple of, uh, you know, there's a, there's a surprising amount of creatures in this game. Uh, the, the, the gist from the trailer for reference. Power World is basically uh, described as Pokemon with guns. They just have, they have guns, they get the, the, the pals, as they call them, to work in the sweatshops building guns, and then they're used as, like, shields, and they have special abilities, and things like that. That is a very, is a very ominous place to put a armor, but sure, yeah. Um, lots of hilarious stuff in the trailer. What was the game about? Mm, I wasn't 100% sure, but, uh, my money was on, you know, like, mm, I guess if it's got, like, base building and things like that, it's probably more of a, like, a survival game with animals that are capturable as opposed to, uh, you know, maybe an actual Pokemon game. Because it looks real time with, you know, third person combat, so I'm like, yeah, it could be along that lines. And uh, the answer is yes, it is kind of that. So, the game doesn't really appeal to me because, uh, well, sorry, it, it does appeal to me enough that I can mention it, but it doesn't appeal to me um, in the sense of, like, I, uh, I don't really get into arc style games or survival games where you play them for a longer amount of time or with friends or that kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a weirdo, I guess. But I completely appreciate the appeal of the game and I certainly appreciate games using Pokemon style mechanics or should I rather say Dragon Quest V style mechanics because if we're really going to get into it, um, the... I don't know if that... I believe that's the same box, by the way. That's why I was like, you had to... Had to keep that box on the ra Oh my gosh, hi there. I was scratching my nose. There you go, you shoot that, you can drop down in here, and it's a secret. Ancient Chinese secret, right there. And you can work your way out as well, so. That's four secrets, wow. I'm impressed. Um, and yeah, you go all over the shop on this level. Um, so I believe that door that we sort of walked past was the, uh, the real way to leap into another level. Welcome to the Thalite Mines. This level is a little bit of a maze, because again, lots of pathways that sort of loop back on each other. You're gonna get yourself a little turn around. So I believe off the top of my head, they offer you a lift here. You want to avoid the lift. Well, not avoid. Also, did you notice I picked up this proximity launcher? Hi there, by the way. Oh my gosh, hi there, by the way. Um, the proximity launcher is a new weapon. It fires its own proximity grenades, uh, so they don't share ammo. Oh my god, let's just not deal with them. Uh, they don't share ammo with um, the other, well, the, the actual grenades, but it sort of functions just like it, other than it sticks and it proximity kills, which is kind of cool. It also doesn't go off from yourself. So, it's not actually that dangerous. I like it. Its usefulness really does depend on how, uh, how much you can use the, um, you know, grenades in general, so. Uh, gonna have a lot of these flying dudes, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, I'm, now, Power World, 
on its own, I feel like I probably wouldn't have, you know, mentioned too much other than, eh, it's out, I guess. Uh, and as someone who hasn't played it, I guess, you know, take my opinions with a grain of salt. These are more, like, outsider perspectives of, uh, what's going on. Also, I love how you gotta stand next to this thing, and then it, like, drives into the wall. Oops. That was, that was the worst move to do. Run straight at him. See that guy jump off? I love how red everything is, by the way. Oh my gosh. That was a, <laughs> that was a weird shot, but sure, okay. Can I even aim that high? Oh, I can. Very nice. Very, very nice. I see the health, I need the health. Um, so on its own, I probably wouldn't have mentioned Power World much other than it's an early access, you know, uh, calling an Ark clone is maybe a bit disingenuous, especially if I haven't played it or Ark. Uh, there's a, oh my gosh, the fun monster closet right behind me. That's fun. And then on top of that, you've got like an actual like elite up there. Just cash. Hi there. Might as well drop him the Tesla. Let's see how, how easy it is to do this. Get him, Tesla. There you go. So the Tesla does that. That was really worthless, wasn't it? It does direct the enemies to aim another way. But uh, it's not perfect, I guess. It just sort of happens. There you go. We can grab this key as well, which we need to use in order to not access the door that's here. This is a dead door. Everyone likes dead doors. Um, so yeah, so Power World I wouldn't really mention too much, except Power World sold a bajillion units in its first, like, few days. Like, actual bajillion. They're advertising on their Twitter they sold three million copies, and that might sound like a hyperbole, but on Steam, they legitimately broke the 1.2 million concurrent players mark, making it uh, the fifth most played concurrent player count on Steam uh, of any game behind uh, Dota 2 very closely. Um, I think, uh, oh, what's the other ones? I know PUBG's up the top, and uh, I remember seeing, it might have been from a mate of mine, and I don't know if it was like a real... Um, you know, the thing someone else said, but uh, someone called it like the highest, the most played paid game. Which is a little unfair, because Ark, sorry, because not Ark, Ark's not, not as high on that list. Uh, PUBG at the top of the list um, had more players in a, you know, when it was a paid game, so I'm not going to say that, but um, Counter-Strike 2, which was CSGO at the time, um, it was weird, that actually happened like May last year, when I had the most players ever at one time. Um, or at least it's most players. Um, I forgot the other one, I forgot the other one. It not being a multi- sorry, it being a multiplayer game and a free-to-play game at that uh, probably highlights exactly what this is. Let's just wander through all these tunnels. Did I just do a lap? I d oh, almost did a lap. Actually, I think I did do a lap, but it counts. Yeah, 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 okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Here's me wandering around, not knowing where I'm going. La -di -da -di -da. I appreciate these monster closets. Oh my gosh, they're just... There's a lot of flying guys. They don't rest. Guys who really hit you from kind of far away and drain all your armor. But they did put a lot of secrets into this game, so... Eh. Eh. That's probably how they balanced it all out. They were just like, well, you know, the secrets. I guess. Hi, we going up? Oh, he was blocking the... The thing, and then the scripting. This is... Why, did, why didn't they just program the lift to be stand on it, it goes up? Instead, it's hit a button kind of near it. That was all me. I found the secret. It was all me. Where was it? I don't know. You gotta put this... Uh, put that key we found earlier into there. 
Where was it? Oh, was it here? Was that the secret? Was it? Maybe? Who knows? Uh, this area- oh my gosh, hi there. Uh, now it being- it's selling a bajillion units, Power World, uh, means one, it has a lot- uh, also, uh, sorry, sorry man, it's all your chat. Weird researchers on the sound for multiplayer games, which aren't actually old CSGO, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, and TF2. Yeah, yeah, like, I remember TF2 had its, like, moment coming back, and I know they added in, um, the, uh, the, uh, I always say man versus machine instead of saying Saxon Hell. Um, when they added in the Saxon Hell mode as a formal game mode, um, I thought that was worth it, but yeah, Counter-Strike, I don't quite understand what convinced a lot of people to just go back into it in May of last year. I would have imagined the Counter-Strike 2 re-release to be that, but, uh, no, that wasn't it. Um, so I don't know. And yeah, yeah, like, Siege still has a ton of players. Um, yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite is just... I don't know if Fortnite is still at the same peak as it once had, but it is certainly still very, very high. And, uh, yeah... Which I'll, I'll mention in a little bit, because I know we've got the sad news. Um, but yeah. Now, it being a popular game... Also, here's a new enemy. It's a little spider thing. He crawls around and shoots lasers. Uh, that sounds pretty normal on the surface. Trust me, you're gonna find out why these guys are annoying the more I fight. Also, they chuck a rocket launcher right here. We're in the first world. We already got, like, pretty much the regular arsenal. Nothing energy weapon based, but... Lots of stuff, for the most part. I'm getting, like, PTSD. I played, um, the PlayStation 1 version of Quake 2, by the way. Uh, which is very short. Um, also, you've got to sh Oh, no, you can't shoot them. Oh, yeah, that is forced backtracking. Wow. Um, we'll get into that in a moment. But, uh, yeah, the PS1 version of Quake, um, Quake 2, uh, has a lot of, like, shrunken down levels. Um, pretty much sort of based on... Yeah, mostly based on the actual levels of the, of the um, PC game. Um, but there's a lot of, like, bits here and there where it's like, oh, they're condensed down or they're simplified geometry-wise to make a little more sense uh, for the PlayStation's architecture and also the fact that, like, you're on a controller. On a controller that, uh, they nearly got the DualShock controls right as well. You can have two sticks and it goes, yeah, you can, um, you know, use the, uh, the left stick to move forward and back, and then turn left and right, and the right stick to look up and down, and, uh, strafe left and right, and it's like, almost, you almost got twin stick. You almost got it. Uh, but then hilariously, they actually have a control scheme, which is, uh, D-pad base. Use the D-pad, also check out this nail gun. What is this, Quake 1? This thing's kinda cool, but, uh, I don't find the nails particularly useful against the small enemies, because of, you know, them walking side to side all the time. Just annihilate them. Um, but uh, yeah, Quake, Quake 2 on the PS1 has a hilarious control scheme, which is it supports the PlayStation mouse. And uh, you can do... Um, also, I love how you can't activate this button. Just so many things you can't activate until you get all the way into the level. Um, including that control panel. That keyboard. Um, oh, hi there. Uh, but it supports the mouse, and you can shoot and jump with the mouse, and then, using the controller in your other hand, you can use the D-pad to move forward and then strafe left and right, and it's like, oh, it's actually just a, just, you know, a PC control scheme. Granted, I'm holding a controller with one hand, uh, but it works. Uh, the game's a little clunky, nonetheless. Also, did you notice I'm walking into this guy? That's because he's not dead. Watch the kill count. Well, well, he's definitely not there because he just got, got up. But, uh, yeah, that's the reason why I hate these spider things. Um, they're not, like, that annoying in the, in the grand scheme of things, but, like, you kill them, but they're not actually dead. That is, that is just a very, you know, irritating thing. Because, like, what other enemies do that? Nothing in this game. And they also crawl on the ceiling, so you can't even get them with, like, projectile weapons because they're just going to dodge out of the way. Very, very irritating. Um, but yeah. I'd sort of recommend Quake 2 on the PS1, but it is kind of just play the superior version first. You know. <laughs> There's no effort to play, you know, a version based on this game. 
such as this particular one, which you can get on Steam or any other modern console. Uh, this activates the lift to go back to the start, so we're going to ignore that for a hot second. And then we go over to this control panel, which now disables the wall node force fields. The wall node force fields are this. This. And you gotta shoot all 16, and the game don't think really spawns any enemies going back. So you just gotta, you know, wander back, spot where all these things were, because also that still doesn't, you know, can't activate anything else, it's just, you know, 14, yeah, I know, like, what, what is this? What? This is, that is one of the most horrendous, like, fetch quest kinds of levels, and there's no enemies! I've already gone through everywhere! Oh, I didn't go here. I didn't go here, okay. Ironically, there's also no uh, wall things to shoot. So... Uh, so Power World being popular uh, invites people to um, criticize it in a sense of uh, tearing it down. Like, they've got nothing to really gain. Like, unless they work at Nintendo... Oh, sorry, not Nintendo. Pokemon Company. <laughs> Just remember, Pokemon's owned by Pokemon, not... Purely Nintendo. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? If you giblet them, then you know you've done right. Uh, this just goes down to the start as well, so. well. The levels in Quake 2 are not that big, so it's okay. But, uh, but yeah. Now, I, I do want to say, you know, the people who are, you know, complaining about the game, um, you know, there's obviously legitimate criticisms. For example, there are actual bugs, such as, uh, you know, you got, like, guilds or clans in the game. Um, if one person is invited to a clan and then leaves and, uh, other people on the server weren't there to witness it or something, I believe that can lead to some save file corruption on the server end. That's not fun. That stuff needs to be fixed. Like, there's, there's definitely, you know, things like that which do need to be ironed out. Uh, so now, there's three buttons, three switches, the coolant levers, also, there's the coolant tank, which you need to open up as well, which is, uh, this thing up here, but also don't watch out, by the way, because, uh, it's very easy to wander past this one, because, you know, it's not, there's no flow for it, you just kind of wander right past it. Oh, hi there, where'd you come from? That was a clean hit. Wasn't it? Yeah. Did I spawn another one, or, okay. It's a bit dark in here, I wish I had my flashlight. Also, it's a secret, apparently. Huh. Yeah, there's a button up here. Which opens the hatch. The hatches are open. Did I just quote Star Fox 64 twice already? Huh. Uh, so some of the criticisms, actually, most of the criticisms involve uh, people complaining that it's a Pokemon ripoff. Uh, knowing the gameplay, it is not really a Pokemon ripoff. Well, it, I mean, it's a game with monster capture mechanics. There's a bunch out there. And also, we're not going to claim that Pokemon invented mods, monster capture mechanics because that'd be silly. Because then we'd have to criticize everything that seems to be roughly based on the success of Pokemon. Digimon is clearly one, uh, you know, like, uh, what's another one? Doesn't Tamagotchi have, like, bits like that in it? Um, obviously Dragon Quest Monsters, which ironically created the monster capture mechanic with Dragon Quest V. Um, and who knows, there might be actually be other examples out there. Um, but it's just like, yeah, like, guys, like, you know... If, the, if there's one thing that I, I, you could say on the internet that would, like, you know, make you sound cool... Um, invoking copyright infringement is not one of those. Like, I don't know. I, I don't think that's a, that's a particularly wise game to be playing. Okay, once you activate the third lever, the game then goes, oh, you know, the stabilizer is malfunctioning, you must leave. And if you stick around for too long, well, I mean, we can, we can test this theory. You got 45 seconds. You can probably guess what happens. I love the- I love the siren. The siren's great. Um...
<laughs> um, but now, if you're if you're pro, if you're MLG, as the kids say, and you wander over here, notice how there's a little rock over there. At some point, it nearly, you know, if you walk up here, it falls down, breaks open this, and this leads into the only secret level of the entire expansion, uh, where the moment you uh, climb up this ladder, the lava starts rising on you. Also, a lot of enemies just freely get killed by stuff, so I'm not going to stick around for too long, but you'll see that, you know, the, you know, stuff falls over. You can watch that lava as it is rising. I love the idea. I just wish it wasn't like a minute. I believe people have also done measurements and the lava is indeed dynamic. It will go up or, you know, faster or slower depending on how far away you are, so it invents its own difficulty. Very neat. Uh... Or the other things, people saying that like, I don't know, what, what, what's another one? People saying that it's like made by like cheap Chinese labor, like, is it? I feel like I've I've looked into some people say stories about like what the you know what, who the developers are. And I think that it actually came off as like they're weirdly incompetent, but they struck gold. They managed to hit like kind of everything in the right places. Probably explains why maybe some of the logic is a little you know goofy at times, but. You know, I'd say, I'd say it's not really, you know, means to discredit the game for what it is, but rather for what it is. Uh, the whole point of why it's, I just said the same thing twice as well. Um, by the way, uh, I got the chainsaw. I bring a chainsaw. The chainsaw is probably the most hilariously useless thing, because you see it kind of kills enemies, but I have to stand next to them and get hit in order to use this. You remember Quake 1 had a melee weapon? And it was really useless because you had so much ammo? Like, literally, like, how, what do you do here? What, what, what am I doing? Meanwhile, just shotgun, here we go, standing far away. I love how this lava is still, oh, it's still coming. Let's exit this level. And then, uh, you get to exit on this fun little ledge, which has a quad damage. They didn't put double damage just to never put quad damage, it's still there. Why does it sound like a toilet? What? <laughs> Is that what lava sounds like? It's just like toilet sounds? And then you gotta take a lift to get out of here. Uh, but we're back in that mine level, so, you know, same exit in the end. Other than I've got a chainsaw. Um, criticism number three, which is just, uh, really guys, is, uh, oh, it uses, a like, AI instead of real artists. Which is, one, uh, not verifiable in any way, by the way. People are just saying stuff to discredit this game. Uh, and also, it's like, okay, well, one, or I guess also, prove that it's AI, and prove that, like, you know, like, it, it matters. Like, I, I, again, it's like, you know, I'm not saying, you know, I don't like the idea of AI just flat out replacing someone's job. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I'm also like, there, there is no one's job. Like, the ideal outcome would be that in the wake of AI, we get like, you know, 10 times the number of games and lots of stuff, and hopefully, you know, a little bit of extra quality in the places where it is kind of trash. I saw one person say this take, and I really want to verify it, but uh, someone said that, like, there's a lot of um, hubris around, like, creating art assets for video games. Good old on a rail as well, yeah. Um, there's a lot of hubris on creating art assets. Um, and so lots of games will come out, or sorry, will we'll just make all their art from scratch. Like, just the same concrete and the same grass and the same bricks and all that stuff. They'll just keep making the same art assets for every single game they'll ever work on. And it's like, I, like, at some point we gotta probably AI voice acting with consent, they won't get paid. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I am a hundred percent, you know, there should be, you know, full consent on doing AI stuff. I don't think it's good to be making, you know, Train or even I mean I know cats out of the bag when it comes to like people have been training models on like all the stuff for years and no one raised an eyebrow until they started making money off it. Um, but there is a degree of like you know a you know if you made something it should be attributable to you. You should be somewhat part of the reference. Uh, it gets very very hard when you know there's millions of examples of training data and you know, you're in there, but it's not impossible. And I think that there needs to be at least some effort to push towards that. Um, 
I appreciate all these enemies spawning, you know, on the way back. Because all we're doing is just backtracking through a level now. Uh, I think we go this way. I think we're going. Yeah. I appreciate how little I'm using the <laughs> weapon. It's just shotgun time. Um. But yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, what if Power World, I'm not, not necessarily that I think Power World was really on, you know, that small a budget, but certainly it's like, hey, you paid a few people, you know, for a long time. I think you can actually do like a, I'm probably going to break my legs. How much armor did I have? Uh, it's not the worst, but I'll, I'll do the walk, I'll do the walk. And it's just a lift as well. Very wacky button. I like how it gets more red as you go further down as well. <laughs> the depths. As it should be. And this is pretty much the end of the world. Nothing really too fancy, just a, a handful of levels. And away we go. Very, very nice. That's one, one unit down. Four to go. You gotta initiate that scan. Oh my gosh, all of these, all of these intermission screens are basically the same. I guess that's one thing, like, in general, I don't know, these Quake 2 expansions have a very big identity crisis because there's not, like, much going on that's differing these games. You play as a different guy in the exact same assault on the Strogos planet, trying to, you know, get the heck out of a crash landing, basically. So, we're going to the Waterfront Storage Facility. Oh, hi there, guys. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, you know, they're using... You know, AI and attempt to one one is it is it even accurate and two who cares uh, and in general I guess these people who are trying to disparage a game that like they haven't played and and to be fair as well I shouldn't be fully praising a game that I haven't really played either but I ain't gonna criticize it I ain't gonna like well I mean you can you can criticize some things but like I don't think any of the things that I mention are valid or meaningful. Uh, and that's, that's definitely, like, I, I guess the question is why? Like, why do people criticize or, or, you know, lambast this kind of stuff? Somewhat, you know, maybe it's their own, like, ego or biases. Like, maybe they're under the impression that if you... Oh, 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 here's the worst enemy in the world, by the way. They added turrets. They added turrets to Quake 2. Um... So, uh, these turrets, you saw, they're on the- they're on the ceilings, sometimes they're on walls, sometimes they're on the floor. Um, the turret... I think, apart from the- the, um, the gunners, so the guys who fire, like, grenades and stuff at you, apart from them, it is the most common enemy in this expansion. And they didn't spawn any in the first four levels there. None in the first unit, but enough to make it the second most popular enemy in the, uh, expansion. Um, in the original version of the Quake 2 expansion here, um, they had five times as much health as well. Oh my gosh, where is that? They had five times as much health. They were insane. How, like, bulky. And they'd always catch you off guard because they're, you know, they're just chilling. And they fire that laser, or later in the game they fire rockets, which is just even better, you know. Um... Yeah, no, it's it's actually the worst thing ever. Like, real bad. Real, real bad. Whoever decided that one, please feel bad for the next two seconds, and then feel okay, because you, you worked on the rest of this expansion. You deserve a bit of a pat on the back. But those turrets, man, those turrets, I can do without. <laughs> but yeah, I, like, I guess, you know, I, I don't want to say it's even exclusively Power World, where, like, I've seen this behavior. But I think Power World is very, like, exceptional because no one talked about this, like, a ton. People definitely shared the trailer around, like, we saw the trailer for a while. Um, but, you know, until the game came out, it sort of, it was like, oh, okay, you know, it's going away. And then, and then just suddenly, boom, game's out. Ah, oh, how dare they use AI? Like, what the, what the, what do you, what do you mean? Uh, I don't know if I could fully explain. This is, oh, oh, here's a new enemy, by the way. It's the flying guy with an energy shield. Is I meant to be able to go in here, by the way? Oh my gosh, hi there. Hi there. Oh. 
This is the worst. At least, at the very least, these things are very rocket launcherable. Hi there. I feel like I've just taken this whole area out of sequence. Were you even meant to go to that hole? Who knows? Also, they make a noise. They do make a noise, so you can sort of go. At least they're there. Will I ever use the proximity launcher? Maybe not, though. Alright, alright, we didn't sequence break that hard, but still. It's a forklift, see? There's forks, and it lifts. This is probably the worst corridor to have, like, one of these enemies in here. Um, but yeah, I hope the best for Power World. I really hope as well they continue, you know, with the concept and keep updating it. It's an early access game, and while I don't personally really like playing early access games, it's like, well, you know, some people do. And, uh, in the case of this one, it's like there's a very, very decent amount of content right off the bat. So, you know, we'll see where it goes, but hopefully more of it. Also, it's just Ark, you know, <laughs> like, interesting Ark, it's got slavery, it's got, you know, like, guns, it's, it's, it's a little unhinged in lots of places, and not just animal slavery, by the way, there's people slavery as well, you know, it's a little bit for everyone, so, yeah, you know, I can totally ex understand why it's got such an insane market appeal, this game's got everything. I think that's what makes, you know, makes it such a wild game to just, like, mark it. Because the concept is so absurd. Like, you know, you gotta see what it's like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's how lots of games work, so. Or at least lots of good marketing stunts go. Oh, wow. Jeez. I do like me bits that break all the time. Building integrity compromised? Extreme Corch- what on earth have you done to the building? Oh yeah, it starts flooding as well. And you gotta grab the- Oh no, you don't grab the thing because I don't have a thing to grab. It's probably a little awkward without having a, a cube to put in. Okay, sure. Um, so let's move on to topic number two, which is uh, the idea of ending your YouTube career. And we're not talking about the, the people who, you know, say something and then get very, very cancelled. We're talking about the people who uh, were doing it for the livelihood and then they went, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm good. I'm done. See ya. I'm out. Uh, and I think this is, uh, the, the, the key example that we've got recently is, uh, a guy called Matt Pat. Some people may have heard of him. He, he does the game theory. He, he, he did those videos. Um, along with maybe some other ones, I'm pretty sure. But he was, like, fairly rather popular. He, uh, made a lot of content. Um, and, uh, as a big creator, you gotta scale. You gotta be able to keep making videos because your life will obviously get in the way. YouTube always starts off like a hobby and uh, as it turns into something a lot more full-time, you know, how do you scale? How do you get enough people? Or how do, you, how do you get enough videos out? So you gotta, you know, bring them more stuff. You gotta make sure they align with your creative vision. And then at some point, you know, eh, you know, can't make that much, that many videos. So uh, they start doing more and more and more and more of their stuff up until the point when the videos mm, gradually stop being yours. You know, that's usually how they go, at least if they scale. If you always do them like a hobby project or something like that, then they will always be your videos. Um, but obviously, you know, like, you know, like I, I'll, I'll use me as an example. It's like, you know, there's a reason why I'm not doing as many videos as I probably did when I was in like, school. And you know, I got so much time. And this is the most economical use of my time. Make it all on the stream, come up with a bunch of ideas, and riffraff. And also, don't try to copy Chucka Conroy. That's that's my strats. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, like you know, I can I completely get why you know MatPat is is retiring, and I wish him the best in you know his future, all that stuff. Um, you know, like it's it's sad, but it's you know like a happy farewell. It's not it's nothing tragic. You know, you end on a high. That's a that's a good way to go. Um, control. Like the Remedy game. Did you guys know that Rockstar is suing Remedy for, like, having an R as their company logo? It's not the same. It's got, like, it, it's clearly different. If you saw their logo, you're like, well, it doesn't have the star. Fire keycard and destroy all resistance. I'm pretty sure they're not resisting. Also, we got the laser gun. But we don't have the shield. Where's, where's my laser shield that will carry me through everything in this game again? Carry me through the PS1 game. Really love these enemies. They totally aren't just bullet sponges. But they do drop cells. Maybe I should be using the cells a bit more. Also, I love how this weapon's on four, so you gotta tap again to like switch to it. Very, very nice. Um but yeah, I, I mean, I guess that's the inevitable, you know, flow of what a, a YouTube creator really has to has to be, is that either they never change, and for some creators, you know, that is sort of the death knell of their channel. They will continue going on in a zombified state where they don't exactly go anywhere. And to be honest, that's okay, as long as you're enjoying and having a good time, and, uh, you know, you make an impact on someone's life. That's all good. Um, I don't think, you know, like view count or subscriber count is the be all end all if you don't care if you're not really you know i just make videos and I, I i'm really happy when someone says hey yeah you know i really enjoyed your video that's that's what makes me happy um but obviously yeah if you do it as a business it's like well you gotta play the numbers game uh i guess um but uh, and in order to play the numbers game you gotta change your style you gotta get with the times where's this conveyor belt going it just kind of dumps here have I... This is that. Oh yeah, this is that. Was this a door that opened up? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so... Hey, you know, at least it flows okay. At least it flows okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess, you know... It could be a little more tragic, I guess, as well. Uh, the end of your channel. It could be, you know, like... I'm, I, I don't want to say, like, death is, you know, the end all, but, like, legit, like, there's a lot of things that can really get in the way. And, and it can be, you know, you know, mental health, it can be actual physical health. I hate these guys, by the way, because you, you notice how they're pre-firing as well. And there's two of them. <laughs> it didn't look that bad, but, uh, it'll get worse. The more they, they, you know, they catch you off guard, the worse it will just continually get. This might be a secret. There you go. I was like, this gotta be a secret right at the end. Um, but yeah, no, it, like, I mean, that's the other problem with, like, YouTube channels as well, is that, like, unlike, like, a proper, you know, TV show or a film production, 141 enemies, by the way, wow. It's probably all turrets. It's all turrets. Okay, let's get him with the laser boy wherever it's gone. Where, where's my laser boy? There's a, there we go. You know this list is gonna get insane when we get into the core of the machine and it just brings every weapon. You don't even have the um the railgun yet. So, so I'm just like going through all these weapons. I should really learn the, the buttons. But I'm pretty sure like yeah, nine is railgun, like as if I'm ever gonna hit that. Eight is this laser gun. It's all the way over there. It's almost like they want me to swim. Oh, is that the fish? Do we bring back the fish? Nope. Well, let's use the, uh, the rebreather while we're at it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. I hope you're- I hope you're enjoying this. It's just like, ah, yes. I can see it. Oh my gosh, this is the... Just 
get him right here. Um, but yeah, like, it, it's always sad to, to see the end of a channel because you know that it's not because of... Well, it can still be because of low viewership. Also, hi there, hi there, did you, did you notice? Everyone's favorite enemy. Oh my gosh, it's just... Uh, super shoddy. Come out. Oh my gosh, he has no no range limitations. It's the medic. The medic is back. Meet the medic. He is back. I hate him. He's worse than the turrets, who is in this room as well. No, not in this room yet. Oh, I gotta hit a button to use one lift next to Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And I can finally meet him face to face and shotgun him in the knees. Um, yeah, no, I wish the best for Matt Pat, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, we're probably all aware of some content creators that we know um, who just stopped. Also, I, I always, like, I mean, I know I'm guilty of this as well, the whole, like, ghost the channel. I just, I did it for years, I know. I never wanted to say never, so, you know, I was like, well, you know, keep the channel up, technically, even though I wasn't actively doing anything. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. So it's like 150, like, 6 health and armor combined, or 160 something. And then I just lost it, and it was all down to 40 and, like, threw grenades like that. I can't remember the grenades being that mean, but it could just be that I'm, like, standing in front of it now. I've lost all my edge. Oh! Yeah, did you, Again, did you like how that just kind of popped out? I know I could probably shot that, but... They do have armor, though, so... Rockets are a little more effective than other weapons. And again, it's another w level which snakes around in multiple ways. Actually, I'm starting to think this might be even more painful if you go through this way. Hi there. Let me see the enemies are ah, sort of little runts. But not all of them. And certainly not this medic who just popped out of... Oh my gosh. Get him out of here. I don't want him. Get him out. Shoot. So I want to just use the grenade launcher against this turret. And instead I get hit by another turret. A and there goes all my health, by the way. Did you again notice it was all gone? Really gonna enjoy these these turrets, aren't I? I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there. If I'm quick saving off, and we'll be okay. There we go. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Now, I haven't seen anything. You know, like I don't think anyone's got any negative uh, you know, words to say about Matt Pat, other than maybe the memes of you know. Game Theory and Five Nights at Freddy's isn't profitable anymore. Which, I don't know, I feel like Five Nights at Freddy's is eternally profitable. But I think MatPad also makes you know, plenty of content that is not Five Nights at Freddy's. And therefore, you, can, you know, he's, he's only on a high. It's cool. It's fine. Don't pick on the guy. Jeez. Well, you can pick on him, but uh, pick on everyone equally, okay? <laughs> I'm hearing, like, someone whisper in my left ear here. Somewhere around there. Where are they? Where are they hiding? Who knows? Switch back. The rocket launcher is a dedicated just turret taking out device. Like, they didn't even wait. Oh, you gotta wait for him to come out as well. And another medic. They love their medics. And then they spawn more turrets. Oh! This is some grade A level design. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed the grade A level design so much. We've only killed 42 enemies in this level. The ride never ends. And the doors are eternally sealed. Where are we going then? Oh, it's just up here. <laughs> Lots of pathways and then it's like, oh no, sorry man. Oh my gosh! Just another medic! Another medic! <laughs> Hopefully they cool it with the medics, I tell ya. 
Oh, never mind. They made. They put another medic in. Uh, let's go to the blaster because I got plenty of this hammer. I'm gonna chuck more flying dudes at me. Very nice. Going back and forth. Or? I feel like this is an actual use of the uh, the infrared. Oh, I'm. Oh no, I'm on a box. Look at that, I can actually see enemies from a distance. Let's get out of there before that smushes me in. See who jumps on the ceiling. And there were three of them in three different boxes. Four different boxes. And they jump. Oh my gosh, just stop jumping. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Well, I lost a lot of health. Hopefully it gets better. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Now I must collect a blue key card. Oh my goodness. Can you actually... This is a fun little warehousey section, but uh, um, yeah, legit, can you? Nah, probably not. Probably not, nah. Oh, hi there. Hi there, lots of enemies. How you doing? Um, but yeah, so on the topic of uh, the internet uh, is wrong, you know, most people, I know I have regularly said Reddit is a lot of bots, uh, and yet, you know, I, I don't know, I feel like I, I keep I keep checking it around technology one because it's a little sometimes when you actually see an article or something interesting you're like oh good to know but uh in general I don't know like I, I try to use it to get a pulse and then I clearly go huh this is not a pulse this is like you know a bulletin someone's just like paid a lot of accounts to upload and push out like how many nails that guy took probably because I was missing a bunch but uh, still. This gives me a very E2M2 kind of vibe. There's lots of boxes everywhere, oh my gosh. And you go clockwise around the boxes. Very E2M2. Ooh. Uh, but uh, yeah, so in the past week the uh, RTX 4070 Super uh, actually came out. Um, I think I sort of theorized about exactly how they were going to be and my predictions were pretty much like... Oh, uh, it's pretty close. Because it's not like it's a chip you've never seen. It's just the same chip. Oh, hi there. It's the same chip, but uh, more, more bits on it. So it should therefore run somewhat close to if you did a linear calculation. And it does. So, what's that? Not really much mystery with it. Uh, the one thing I did sort of predict, and uh, I get to go na 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 to a lot of my mates, because... Uh, the, um, I, I love these enemies spawning right behind me and then jumping on the ceiling so I can't hit them as easily. Oh, I, ah, dang it. Um, and he's giving me all these like slugs as well and it's like I can't do anything with them. Well, at least we got this uh, blue key. Hopefully it doesn't spawn a bajillion enemies behind me, which it probably will. Oh, hi there. I was expecting that explosive box to do a little more. These explosive boxes and barrels and things, they're not that exciting, are they? They're not like Doom's ones, you don't get like a map 23 going on. Did I just cite like two different Doom maps? Yes, I did. Coming in the cargo bay. Oh, look, a railgun. Which is actually the nicest thing for dealing with these, uh, you know shield guys because uh, it hits right through the shield and uh, especially if you miss. And I feel like you're going to have plenty of railgun ammo so at the end of the day it's probably not, uh, I don't know, it's probably a neat one. I think this is at the end of the long corridor that I refused to swim down because I just swam up immediately afterwards. Am I getting shot at? Oh, hi there. Very high, how are you doing? You dead? He is dead. <laughs> I hope you love the grass sound effect again. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, but yeah, no, I thought that the price was definitely going to come down because all graphics cards seem to be, in, at least in Australia, seem to go down in price fairly quick after release. We're going to have the people fighting over within the 24 hours, and then we're just going to have the people who, I don't know, maybe they were banking on having lots of excess stock. And so we're basically kind of buying two batches so that they'd have stock after the initial batch, and then it doesn't sell, and they're like, oh, no. Oh, no. Are we just leaving? Or? No, no, we're opening the cargo doors. Okay. Um, so, uh... So yeah, so the RTX 4070 Super uh, launched at 1119 for some of the models and uh, by the end of the day, or at least three or four days later, uh, I have definitely seen it for 999. That is correct, that is $120 off, which is uh, just around 10% of the price cut already. That's always how it is in Australia. The graphic cards always come down in the places when you're looking for them. Now, obviously, not every store is doing that, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of stores selling at full price, but I feel like the general just is like, well, you know, if someone's offering it for less, um, pretty much all graphics cards are made fairly equal, no matter what the cooler is on it, so... That's a good sound to hear uh, <laughs> behind there. Oh, because they, they open a turret directly behind me. Did you like that? Did you like that enemy placement? What a very fun enemy placement, right there. Wow. My life is immensely better because I just witnessed that. You see what I mean? It's like you can't use it. You can use the railgun. The railgun is effective. Especially when you aim right. I, there's another one in the back wall there. Yeah, them shooting rockets. I was expecting them to wait on the rockets, but nope. They're doing the rockets right away. There are a lot more enemies than I haven't killed, so maybe you backtrack here in a moment. I mean, we're already an hour into the stream, so... We keep it going. Okay, we're now in the logistics complex. This is a complex logistics level full of logistics and complex logistics. At least we don't have the, uh, the regular laser enemies. Those shield guys are very bulky, though. Now, granted, you know, I, I, I did mention Call of the Machine will reuse the, uh, the weapons. It does also reuse the enemies, but it sort of mixes them up enough that you don't see them in too annoying a way, but we'll get into that. Is that a, was that a backspawn? Yes, that was a backspawn, just for a turret. Just for a turret. Just, just for you. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. More. Look at that, it's the it's the communication. Oh my gosh, jeez. Jeez, bro. Carry out his orders. Okay, sure. He wants eggs. Bacon. This medic guy gone. I'm keeping an eye out on that health. I'm keeping an eye out. We're good, we're safe. We're good. I've gotten an adrenaline power up, but I'm also trying to see that I'm good. We'll see. Rip that guy, by the way. Very big crash landing. Lots of doors! Lots of doors. Hi there. Oh, another turret. Wow! There we go. Um... Now, the internet, the particularly uh, Reddit NVIDIA, apparently uh, all products are the worst and therefore uh, you cannot, you know, don't buy. Which, uh, granted, you know, I totally, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say blindly consume things. Just, you know, do your research. Is it, if it's good enough for you, buy it. If it's not good enough for you, don't buy it. Hold out with your graphics card for as long as you really, really feel like you can as well. Because a lot of, you know, like NVIDIA's goal is to convince you that you need to keep upgrading your graphics card over and over and over again. Totally makes sense. That's fine. That's expected. Or expected, rather. It is to be expected. There you go. Uh, whoa. Um, but, like, you you don't have to, like, tell people it's a horrendous product. Because, one, you sort of convince people. Oh, check this out as well. Oh, I want to boop the button. Do I have to turn something on? I think I have to turn something on first. 
Well, we'll come back here because I know that door doesn't open up right away. Um, shot. Oh! Oh! Just a, a they always spawn behind you. It's it's the worst. It's the worst. Oh my god! Like that was a rocket placement as well. I think that's another one somewhere. Oh! 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 Uh, my favorite enemy, by the way. It's not just a medic. It's a black hole medic. I think is what they're referred to. And he literally just spawns enemies. He literally just spawns them. No ifs, no ums, no buts. He just spawns an enemy on you. Now granted, I think there's only... He doesn't spawn anything too strong. But I don't know. I think it might be worse than the medic. Because at least the medic has to walk around and try and find a body that hasn't gibbleted. Oh, nice duck. Um... So, yeah, so the people on, on Reddit, they, I, I think in particular, they're going, one, the launch price is terrible. Also, ugh, ugh, I just turned my back on this guy, and he's like, nah, I'm gonna respawn him. Oh my gosh, I tell ya. Uh, is this? There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I love it. I love how the whole point is as well to get his head. It's weird as well, but you had to fight one already. I could have just brought that one along with me. Would have been set. So I think we got... Do we have to go back? Because now I've technically triggered things and I can press a button or... Nah. We'll see. Um, there we go. So the, uh, the, the, the 12 gigabytes of VRAM, I keep seeing as like an argument. I know I've been all over it a bajillion times before, you know. 12 gigabytes is only as good as, you know, the work that you need to do. Either it's enough and anything more is overkill, or it's not enough and anything not enough is sort of... Mm, depends how it's written, but if it's, if it's written well, it just kind of, you know, uses the best it can. Hi there, laser. Okay, sure. Cool. Thanks, laser. Yeah, this hole. Ooh. Can you see where I'm going? Because I sure can't. I was like, oh, a breather. No enemies. Nope. Um, but also, yeah, just people complaining about the price. Which, again, you know, like, I... It, Granted, in terms of the current market, I was like, 600 US dollars is not worth it compared to other cards, uh, given that they've all gotten cheaper here. But this card has gotten cheaper, so it's okay. Um, not amazing, but it's okay. I would, I would totally be like, yeah, you know, like, a, a, a 4070 in a world that's nine, $900, and a 4070 Super that's $1,000, that lines up. That makes sense. I, I am not, like, you know... That's not a bad deal. It's only a bad deal if you don't care about graphics. Um, bridge enable. Oh, I gotta watch out for that guy. That guy's gonna spawn like 50 million enemies. Return to the waterfront storage facility. That's right. You gotta backtrack all the way. Stuff going up to the top. We go back all the way. New orders will be forthcoming. Oh, hi there. How you doing? He was coming at me, bro. He held a gun to me. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I just got hit by the random turrets that just spawned around the corner. Hold on, let's, let's, ah, uh, I'll take that guy on again. <sighs> the random turret, well, they're not random, they're deterministic, but. Who was that guy? There he is. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of, you know, people complaining about these cards just because they don't like them. The worst part as well is that, like, you know, a lot of people was, would still buy the cards even as they complain about them. Like, I don't know what's going on there. I think, somewhat, you know, they want to, you know, talk smack about the cards, lowers demand, then they get it for cheaper. Because, uh, you know, they're upset about the whole crypto stuff and how freaking, you know, the cards were expensive when everyone was buying them. Which I get. 
but like trash talking them on the internet just makes you look like a dweeb. And you're spreading misinformation for your own personal gains. Is that not a little malicious? Is that, you know, something to be proud of? Also, does it even work? I don't know. I think the prices go down, you know, fairly irrespective of what Reddit says. Maybe I shouldn't care. So now, waterfront storage, but a different entrance because there are more enemies now. I think the confusing part as well is that the compass actually does point the wrong way, so... Oh. No, 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 bad, 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 bad. No, don't bring him back, don't bring him back. You work for me now, and I my my work says you die forever. Ow. I should probably use this. Um Also at the end of the day as well, you know, there's one thing that I thought was kinda like interesting, and that is like take some current games, take their frame rates on a 1080 Ti, you know? Very, very capable card, very capable of running uh, almost every new game. Can't run Alan Wake 2 for technical reasons. You know, mesh shaders. But uh, for the most part, runs a lot of games. Um, take its frame rate from games built in 2016 and take its frame rate from games built in 2023. We'll say 2023. It's been seven years. Now, in those seven years, uh, our games have basically, like, you know, at 4K, have sort of dropped the frame rate by, like, you know, a quarter. We require four times the amount of graphics horsepower in order to run new games. Um, now, that's not to say that they are not more graphically impressive. There's certainly, you know, there's, there's games that are made nowadays that are like, yeah, no, you know, they are a little bit beyond what games from earlier than that would have done. Alright, come on, Tesla, do your best. Tesla. Did not, it really doesn't do that much. I saw so, I, I saw one thing that said like you can use the Tesla to distract an enemy and then you can use the melee weapon on them, but you could also just kill them any other way. That would be so much better. And it's like yeah, I guess. Check this room out. Ooh. Very very neat. Very very cool. You know, it's been like two seconds since I've seen a turret. Is that guy behind me? Oh, there's one. He was behind. Oh, he had his little hidey hole and everything. And a quad damage in here. Which I've refused to use, apparently. Um, but yeah, graphics have gotten pretty much four times as more demanding on... At 4K, we'll just say, you know, if you're going for the max out of your game. Are very, very demanding. I think they still scale fairly alright. There's a lot of games that, even on low, look fairly good. You know, these days. Um, not 4K, but certainly at 1080p, it's like, eh, you know, it's not the worst. People, people demanding, you know, ultra. It's like, I don't know, I think it's a little excessive at some, you know, for some games at some resolutions. Uh, but, that's my opinion. But, uh, then we go, okay, well, how much does a card that compares to a 1080 Ti go for? Um, because obviously if the games are four times more intensive, it's okay if the cards are four times more powerful. And the answer is, uh, well, you know, like, a card that I think goes for a thousand dollars, i.e. a 4070 Super, is, uh, 90% more performant? Maybe double. Might be double depending on what you're looking at, and certainly it's got way more features, so. It's not just like a, oh, it performs 90% better at games, therefore it should cost, or like, you know be 90% more the, the running price like that, or something like that, I don't know. But, like, it should be, you know, you should expect some degree of more features and more performance for the price over time. But, yeah, since it's only 90% more powerful for the same price, as at least I bought a 1080 Ti ages ago, um, maybe a 1080 Ti had gone down, I don't know. Um, and, uh, but the games are four times more powerful, that means... Two things. Either your games will run worse, which introduced DLSS as the stopgap solution for everything. I think we're unfortunately at that point now where DLSS is kind of what games are sort of crutching on. Okay, at least I don't have to shoot 16 of these. I like the, uh... Whoop. Whoop. Get the heck out of there. There we go. <laughs> Proceed to the shuttle. I be shutting my shuttle. 
It's interesting that this is part of the same map. Like, I'm trying to think in my head, it's like, do we, do we even go back, or... Also, what a... Oh, oh, I was like, what a backtrack, and I was like, nope, not a backtrack. Interesting. Um... But yeah, so, moral is, my comparison with comparing the, uh, the frame rate of cards from four years ago to their performance today, and then the performance of a similar price card today, never mind there's also inflation, so maybe you can make the argument that, like, 1,000 Australian dollars actually should be getting you, like, you know, or rather, it, it, it's worth more in today's currency than it was before, which might be true, maybe, maybe that bumps you up to a 4070 Ti, um, which is going for 1100 bucks. so uh, on top of that, the people going for the 4070 Super are like, well, you know, the, 10, the 4070 Ti is now kind of getting the extra 10% again. So, it's a trade-off again. You just buy the best card for what you care about and what you need. Oh my gosh, just let me, let me just get him. This guy is impossible with the railgun because it doesn't dish out damage fast enough. That sucks that it's up. Touch that explosive. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, they'll just grab some health. Hi there. There's a guy behind me. Yeah, I was like, there's a guy right behind Oh. Oh, that guy took off a chunk. There you go. Uh, the whole point with my experiment is that, like, that's, I think, the reason why everyone thinks that graphics cards are so more expensive these days is not I mean I don't I think the ramp is fairly normal but I think the demand is so much greater than what it used to be to the point that now you know like you know I you need a more powerful card if you wanted to run games at higher settings the catch 22 is you don't need to run games at really that much higher settings they they all a lot of them work fine on older hardware a 4060 is very capable of playing Pretty much most games, I know some people are still saying, oh, 8 gigs of VRAM, and I know there are some games that run like butt with 8 gigs of VRAM, and I think that's on, on the games. We are in a tactical command. Very nice door. Yeah, there's no turrets right off the bat. Where'd that guy run off to? He was here like two seconds ago. Whoop. Whoop. Dang it. <laughs> Constantly getting hit by just something there. Well, they're going to deal with each other for a moment. Um. Oh. <laughs> they can't keep doing this to me. I'm just like worried about any like ceiling basically. It's like, oh, they're gonna show up. I hate my Mexican jumping spiders though, I'll tell ya. Oh, I heard him. Wherever, where he was, I don't know. Oh. These are like the super ones as well. The regular medics barely had any spot like spotlight time. They're all just gone already. Ah, we got this cool black hole one. We need to use it everywhere. They men everywhere. Oh. Uh, but yeah, so that's why I think it. That, that doesn't necessarily mean you need to be happy, or you need to just go out and run out and buy a graphics card, especially when you know they do launch with some sort of iffy prices. And uh, in theory, you know, I, I mean, given how great a jump Ampere and Ada was on. Nvidia side, and I still did like RDNA 2. I thought that was a really good gen um, for AMD. And Intel Arc was pretty promising as well. Like, you know, for a first effort, yeah, yeah. You saw that you drive, that door is gonna open up the moment I like go a bit too far. Just hate this guy. Hate, it. oh, that opened up. Nope. Thought I heard it. Oh well. I'm getting too paranoid, I tell you. We got a plasma beam? We got a plasma beam. That's right. The uh, the enemies that we hated before, you can dish it back onto them. This also uses way too much ammo. Way too much. I'm sticking with this one. 
There's like no room to respond to these. <laughs> or the one in the next room. Hi there. And also the two guys. Ugh. Four guys that spawned behind me. Oh my goodness, jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, that's a black hole guy behind me. Is he like still there? Like right off the bat or? No, what? Where is he coming from? Where is he going? Um, but yeah. So really, you know, my opinion still, still holds. The real problem is that the game devs are going way too hard on graphics demand. Now, they're lucky that we have a 4090 on the market. There is the actual ability. I hear him. I hear him right now. He's, he's respawning enemies behind me. At least he didn't spawn the big guy behind me. Jeez. Um, but yeah, at least we are in a market where a 4090 has uses. It's not like I remember the 3090 was a weirdly, you know, absurd card when it came out. And then the 3080 was sort of like really good for its price. So people were like, oh, there's no point in getting a 3090. And then on top of that, uh, AMD had a card that competed with the 3090, the 6900 XT. And uh, that's why that generation sort of went that way. It was just like, hey, this was a very, you know, competitive market. You had both people making very competitive cards at the top end, sure. What? No, don't, 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 you be respawning, you be respawning, stop that, stop that, my broski. Get out of there, get out of there, stop, stop. <laughs> now you can sort of spot the difficulty on this one, it's like getting really out of control, because it's just like everywhere you go. It's always just something respawning, something going all over the place. Like that rocket guy right there, just to let me go back to the start. Just let me go back to the start, like, ah. Oh, good, good clip shot. Um, yeah, I don't know. So uh, we have a 4070 Ti Super release uh, in a couple of days. Gonna have reviews probably out in like you know, 24 hours by the time the VOD's out. Um, the answer is uh, I hope it will actually be okay. But some people are saying, oh, it's like 10% worse than a uh, than a 4080. Um, I saw some people saying it was like only 10% better than a 4070 Ti, which might be true. My basis is that I'm comparing core counts with the similar die, so I'm kind of only comparing it with a 4080 because I don't quite know how well it will compare with a 4070 Ti, but with a 4080, yeah, no, I'll definitely push the price down. Which, by the way, 4080, again, going down in price a ton here in Australia in anticipation. Um, I don't think it's quite there yet. I, I don't think it's at the price that I would even say it's like, you know, all worth it just yet. Come on, Mr. Leprechaun. There you go. Ooh. I'm just hearing more explosions down there. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Ah! <laughs> just every time. Every time. It's like... Another turret. Uh, we also have the 7600 XT, and I'm not very hopeful about that one. I just don't see it being that worth it. Unless you have a AI or other, you know, uh, GPU accelerator workload, and an AMD GPU accelerator workload at that, um, that can capitalize on 16 gigs of VRAM, then yes, the 7600 XT is actually the card for you. But, uh, you know, if you're not that person, I don't trust it. I don't think it will uh, particularly blow your socks off in terms of performance, uh, especially given that it's a fair bit more price. But uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. 
And hey, just, you know, if the price comes down, hey, you know, maybe it's a consideration. Just like everything. Gosh, I keep running out of, like, the basic ammo all the time. Oh, we got another CD! Have we gotten a CD in every single expansion? I think we have. Well, at least we can leave the level. I think. Maybe. Back to the logistics, we've got enemies coming out of the woodworks. That's because that guy up there is ruining my day. I think he's still up there. Hold on, let me, let me try and pop him. Yeah, he's chilling. He was waiting for me. Waiting for me. Obviously, of course, you don't need a good graphics card to play Quake 2, which is really how we should be benching all of our games. Just take Quake 2 and go, yes, can it run Quake 2? And before you say, well, a Switch can run Quake 2, and, you know, everything's more powerful than a Switch. I know. Ugh. Just stop, please. Stop with the turrets. Pop the disc in there. My aim is getting progressively worse with these guys, I tell ya. Hi there, hi there. Uh, let's get him with the old fashioned. Oh no, he can dodge it. That just makes my life worse. Oh, that's a big guy. Excuse me, you're only meant to spawn like little enemies. That guy takes like five grenades. What are you talking about? Oh, ugh, ugh. Can I get him with a shotgun? Not even one shotgun blast is enough. Press the disc, the thing, this realigns the satellite array interface with capital ship. It's like capital T, but capital ship. So, okay, I think we're all good there. Now we can properly leave, I guess. I think this is not a, this is just a copy-pasted staircase. It's not the same staircase as before. Also, excuse me. Oh, no, I, I swear I'm hearing them. I was right, but did he just- hold on, hold on, hold on, blah, blah, blah. time out, time out. Did he just spawn a medic? He just spawned an enemy that can revive enemies. Bro, we got a timeout on that one, that's a bit absurd. You can't do that. I don't think any enemy is really off limits. Oh, this area looks familiar. Can we go this way? Yeah. Yeah, we got a railgun. Plenty of railgun ammo. Yeah, at least like ammo is plentiful. Like you do run out of one thing, but then you just go to the next. Oops. And especially as well, while they're just chucking relatively small enemies. Lots of them, but you know, the small enemies do drop ammo, so it's not the end of the world, it's just i kind of annoying to constantly have to deal with turrets spawning every time I kill a batch of enemies. Like, there's no chill. This area looks a little familiar, doesn't it? That's the... <laughs> don't be fooled. That is, that is where I came in from. I gotta go up a ladder. Hi there. How you doing? These guys made strife. What on earth happened to the level design that went, yeah, you know what? You know what? Turrets everywhere. It's like no chill. Also, we gotta then, every enemy is dead, but you gotta make sure you grab that data disc again. You know? So we gotta go back to, oh my gosh, oh, it was upstairs, wasn't it? Make sure you hit the button as well. Okay, 
There you go. Grab the CD, then return to Tactical Command, aka this level. Or, yeah, yeah, Tactical Command, again. So now, of course, just spawn a turret immediately as you walk in. Very, very tasteful. Very, very tasteful. And, uh, you see what I mean? It is the same ladder. The same staircase, it's not a ladder at all. Uh, so this week I played a couple of interesting games, um, I did play Quake 2, uh, I am playing through Hexen on the N64 version I'm playing, uh, I am actually surprised that, you know, Quake 2, uh, in all of its console versions had to sort of, uh, you know, tone down some of the level design to make it work, and somewhat Quake on the N64 and Saturn did the same thing. Hexen is weird because they committed to actually porting the engine and the game itself. Uh, so the game is as, you know, as Hexen as it gets. It's the exact same levels and it's all the same enemies and for the most part it's all good. I think the other games, the other versions, there's a Saturn and a, um, and a, uh, PlayStation version as well. Um, but, uh, the prop- oh my gosh, I hear him, I hear him again. Stop, please. Don't, don't. That's just, that should just be illegal to bring back another medic. At least medics don't have a lot of health, but still. Oh, I know. Um. But yeah, so Hexen on the N64. I've probably played Hexen enough times. Um like a ton of times, so none of the Hexen's design gripes get to me that much, but there is a degree of when it's trickier to look up and down, I'm a lot more likely to actually miss the secrets and things that I actually need in order to progress, which is a major fault of Hexen's level design, is how, you know, obscure the level design is, and yet how much they expect you to figure out and find out. Um, it does make the game very cool and interesting, but it is uh, you know, certainly a very tricky game to understand for the first time, especially because uh, the first three hubs are, you know, uh, I guess they're designed way harder than the original, than the latter two. The latter two has a lot of enemies, but a lot of enemies is a lot easier for me to comprehend than, like, you know, the seven portals, which is one of the most, like, vague, like, you never really know what you're doing in the seven portals because you don't see the effects of what you're doing until you're right where you needed to be anyway so um so hexen is a game all about collecting keys and activating switches and just seeing where on earth you did anything um but uh yeah since the n64 version is relatively actually in fact very faithful in terms of a it's the same game for the most part Chuck the CD in here, we can now activate communications. We've got a lovely laser over here. Lovely gem. Oops. Uh, but yeah, now let's get into the Nintendo 64's controls because uh, they're shocking, to say the least. They're not the worst thing in the world. Um, the analog stick uh, does the whole look turn thing, or, or move turn thing, so you move forward and back, and you look left and right, you can hold down Z, and uh, you'll strafe left and right instead. Now that makes sense to me, because I played, you know, copious amounts of Metro Prime, so it's very, very natural to me. Do I have to do all this without drowning? Okay. Oh, oh. Ah, a little bit, a little bit of drowning, not too bad though. And then the doors are sealed. Oh boy, where are the doors unseal? Continuing on the level I guess. Oh, we're almost there. So many enemies though. And they're all turrets. Every single one of them. It's just a turret. Remember seeing this guy ages ago? This one room? Jeez. Um, so, yeah, so, okay. So the stick's okay. Um, now you use, I don't know what R does. I really don't know what R does, um, but 
The A button attacks, B button jumps and uses walls. So, okay, sure. Um, and then C up switches to the auto map. C left and right switches weapons. C left and right while you're holding Z switches the items and C down uses an item. Uh, and then also just for bonus points, um, the D-pad is how you look up and down, and then, confusingly, when you can fly, A and B stops you flying, I don't know how to start flying, and then you have to sort of hold Z and hit D-pad up, I know, right, in order to, like, to actually move up and down flying-wise. Um, oops, I've jumped the gun. I need to get the CD first. Oh, sorry, no, I need to hit the button. And now turn on everything, so we did it! The Strong Fighter communications are scrambled. Scrambled. So now we can leave and go into the hangars. Continuing on with another hub. That was a long boy hub. What was that, 55 minutes? Yeah, jeez. Because there's a really long level in there as well. I believe the other three are shorter, so we should be able to slam them out a lot quicker. But, oh yeah, jeez. <laughs> Ground to air. That's me. I'm ground to air, I guess. How many things does the Strog have that we need three brave individuals to destroy? An absurd amount, I guess, but... It's a little shaky, but uh, we need to destroy anti-aircraft gun. Just the only one. That's right, enemy number one. It's a turret. As well as also 50, like a medic, a railgun guy. We got it all. It's a regular old medic as well. Pretty sure there's another. There you go. Oh, was that a hostage? Oh, well. Oh. Where, where did he come from? He must have hopped down or something. <laughs> there you go. Um, well hopefully, yeah, hopefully this goes a bit smoother for the rest of this. Also, uh, another one of these... Oh, that's a super shotgun. I got that mixed up from, with the nail gun from that distance. Hi there. Whoops. Was that a, was that a behind me monster spawn? Hold on. Spot the destroyed wall or the platform you must have probably come up from. Yeah, totally was. Totally was. Uh, but yeah, uh, the, the controls leave a lot to be desired. Um, now there is a D-pad control scheme with, a uh, um, Hexen, which weirdly, um, I said A shoots, uh, B shoots when you use the D-pad mode. I don't know why they swapped it. I think it's because B is a run button now, or, or A is a run button. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what the jump button is, it might be one of the C buttons again. Um, and then L and R strafe, so now you don't have a strafe mode, but you've dedicated two buttons to strafing, so... Constantly getting barraged by rockets from somewhere. Well, let's hop into the ground, what could possibly go wrong? We've got one singular laser chilling there. One... Laser. Uh, but yeah, no, the controls are weird. Um, it might be better on the other consoles, but it also might be, uh, just a worse version. I hear some real shocking stuff about the PlayStation version. Like, real horrendous frame rate. And it's already not perfect on the, on the, um, uh, Nintendo 64. Uh, it also has, uh, one of the most hilarious things. It properly saves. It You can save wherever you want, which is very, very cool that you can do that. Uh, the downside is it uses 90 pages of, I think there's only 100 on a Nintendo 64 memory card. You really don't get to save more than one on a memory card, and you use almost the entirety of the space. Oh my gosh. Uh, Railgun. <sighs> Oh, hi there. I, I keep seeing the like circle from the um, 
turret and I'm like, oh. Do I have to be like careful of it or it's all okay, it just drops down. Hey there, Ion Maiden. I love this uh oh. Did you spot that skybox for like a half second? Barely see that there's a wall there, I tell ya. Oh, hi there. That was two of them as well. Poke. Yep, no, he's, he's gone. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, now, I, I also know off the top of my head, uh, the PlayStation version of Hexen um, uses a whopping 15 memory blocks. It is not just you can't put two saves on a single memory card, it's you can't put any other saves on a memory card. It is, it is a game that demands the entire memory card. It has one nice thing going for it, which is, uh, at least on the N64 version, which is you can do a save in RAM. So, uh, not only do you get a natural, you know, the game doesn't, uh, you know, will just start the state from the beginning of the map if you ever die, but it also, um, oops, yeah. But it also uh, goes back to, um, you know, you've got that in case you want to just line up a jump for a quick save. It's convenient, it's nice, you know, because dealing with map checkpoints is always a little, you know... <laughs> never the most convenient in these kinds of games. They're not designed for that. They are designed to be quick save scummed. Oops. I completely forgot where that turret was standing. Ugh. Well, the box isn't actually the worst thing on that. It's really not getting this guy, is it? He's trying to jump over it. He's trying to really get there. I don't know. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy what's going on there. Uh, so I can't tell you what the Saturn uses, um, for Hexen, but, uh, oh, oh, what, what, that, that's like eight rooms over. And again, just, oh, please, with the, um, with the turrets. You like how they're being very, like, tight with the health. Like, we've not gone too many sections where I've, uh... Oh, look. Just, 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 you know, fire a bit. There you go. You're good. You did it. Go back for the other ones. Go back for the other bits. Yeah! There you go. Very neutralized barrier. So now I need to come back here with the airstrike marker. Didn't I have one already? Where did that guy come from as well? <laughs> He's just chilling. Pick up marker and place it near the AA turret. Did we not? Did I not pick up the marker? Uh. probably somewhere but rip the compass oh Why did it just end up back here oh hi there what a weird little bit of backtracking I pop the marker back down do I gotta push the button again or nope I don't have to I wanna watch it though <laughs> Two, one. Oh, don't watch it. Don't watch it. <laughs> oh, he's coming down. He's coming to meet me. He wants to shake my hand. 
And now I gotta go to the waste processing because that's where I belong. What's up here? Enemies? Enemies. Oh. oh boy, this is just claustrophobic. Oh. <laughs> I believe you needed to do that, press that button in order to open something, but I don't know, I wasn't really looking the right way. A couple of enemies. Sorry, they distracted me. I always do this, don't I? Oh, check it up. Check it up. Check it out. It's a disruptor. Which uses its own ammo, by the way, but uh, this one, again, mm, not as useful as I'd uh, maybe want. So the thing with the disruptor... Oh, we're gonna have the worst enemies to use it on as well. Uh, let's see, we're probably gonna want to drop down here. And go on our merry way. Through to very Half-Life of this. This came out right about the same time as Half-Life as well. We are in the waste processing. It was pretty simple. Well, at least it works for that. You effectively just black hole a bunch of enemies. You don't get a crazy amount of ammo, though. But it's fun. Also, yes, did you see the absolute worst placement for an enemy there, where he can technically see you by the shins? Unless we got, like, the regular, you know, like, weird little dog things. I call them dogs, even though they're all made out of, like, you know, recycled human somewhat, but, uh... Listen, if it walks like a dog, which has a very funky looking dog... Oh my goodness, just... Please, please, with the turrets! Oh yeah, take it back, take a shot every time you see a turret! It's called the Ground Zero's drinking game. You've barely seen these, uh, what they call technicals? Little robots. Uh, might as well use this. There we go. All of this just to grab the same weapon I'm holding on to. But we opened a filtration sector. That is water going on my lava. How dare they. Up we go, back through here. I believe now this door is open, and we should be able to witness the joys of walking into a room, getting attacked by two technicals, and a turret, and a railgun guy. Okay, we can't do the pumps yet, because there's green laser or brainstorm in the way. Don't forget there. So yeah, what happened to these guys? Because I swear they walked straight out of making, like... Um, Strife, which I felt was a really finely crafted game, although it's, it does have some kind of obtuse parts about it. Uh, I like how I just stood on a bunch of those, uh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking I was like, oh man, I'm back here. Still, I have like so much health. When all my health disappears like that, I'm like, uh, uh. I don't feel very motivated, you know, when, when you lose all your health like that. Sucks a ton. If there's one thing, I guess maybe that's the downside of Quake, uh, Quake 2, is that, uh... It is a game that is much more likely to have cheap... Like, what is that? What is that spot? It is a game that is much more likely to have cheap enemy placements and deaths, because it is playing so much on... kind of hit-scanny enemies from such a far distance. This guy counts as a hit-scan enemy, does he not? he does. Um, and that's probably not like, you know, I, I still like Quake 2, but I do think that one, you know, we're at expansion number two, and you still can't really pick that many different aesthetics, because it's all space-based. Every single one of it. This is space-based with pipes, but it is still space-based. And I think it's just because everything is brown. <laughs> so... Uh, they gotta... Oh, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see it done it done well, in particular. Uh, I activated a lift, but uh, I think that was here. Yeah. 
Oh, kind of confusing. It's not the end of the world, but I think it's like, um, what's a what's an example? Like Sir Sam, uh, first encounter compared to second encounter, where you know, when you got more variety in like what you're looking at, this thing doesn't actually do as much damage as you'd really want to as well. See what I mean? They really love these guys though, and I think that's what makes this also harder than you'd expect. Is that not only do you have the turrets, which just come out of nowhere, but you've got the guys that you kind of... Uh, that was me trying to say can't and kind of... That you can't, like... You can't you can't just waltz up to those guys. They're gonna, they're gonna sort of get you. You kind of can, but you gotta know what you're doing. Dodge their grenades, you know. Hit button, security lasers deactivated, except for that one, that's still a security laser somewhat. Now we gotta find the reactor to start the filtration system. Hi there turrets, how you doing? Oops, I missed. Uh, I guess we're going down, down this way. Again, I've been in this room, and there's just another turret. I'm sick and tired of saying the word turret, I tell ya. We're now calling them wall, wall lines, because they're lines that come from the wall. I can't aim, apparently. At least they're not throwing medics at me anymore. Is that toxic goop? This is meant to be just like poop. This is toxic waste. Hold on, was that? Yeah, it is hurting me. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the pumping systems are still inactive. That's because I've, I'm meant to turn them on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! So many, so many lasers again. So many wall lines. There's another two. There's another three, actually. And then I'm still getting shot by something in my back, sorry. But like, jeez. Oh my goodness. You just gotta like, take your time, I guess. Just, just pop in. Get like, one thing. I assume there was a railgun guy uh, either on the ledge or behind me. Or so yeah, there he is. Where did he show up from? I'm getting hit by a grenade, so there goes all my health again. Like, it's a combination of just everything. Ah, oh, Blendo complains about Quake 2 ground zeros a ton. But I think I've, like, gotten the gist. It's not as much that the, um... That like, oh hi there. Um, again, itching my nose moment. Um, yeah, it's not as much that the. Uh, oh, I actually do need these. Uh, these bits here. Did I just walk over that first aid that didn't trigger? Okay, something like that. Um, yeah, it's not as much that like, oh, I'm just playing on hard and therefore it should kick my butt, but rather that like every enemy is obnoxious when coupled together like this. The turrets don't flow well, and then it forces you to not dance around enemies. And everyone's hit scanning. They, they don't have the big guys very often, if at all. Don't you get it? That's a reactor right there. Let's get the heck out of dodge. Oh, and I've got to f pull these off. Oh my gosh. Were you noting where they all were? Hi there, how you doing?
this thing doesn't kill enemies, but you know, after a while I'm sort of sitting on a metric butt ton of ammo, so... At the end of the day, it's not the worst. Where? Back? Oh. Oh, what? Uh... Where? Uh, what would... Hold on, what was the ideal line for me for going here? Was it just all the way out of the way? And I, was, I hurt myself on the spinning. <laughs> nice. So now use the flooded ed entrance area. Like, where? This is why the compass exists. Or it would be back at the beginning, would it not? Yeah. Yeah, that lava is now gone. And they decided to spawn two more turrets, just for good measure. They can- they can miss me with that. I am actually done with turrets now. I am really done with them. That's why they spawned two right at the beginning of this level. No backtracking going on, we are just disposing waste. It'd be kinda cool if they chucked a secret right here. Uh, I think it's just debris particle. Okay. Oh. More turrets! More turrets! We need more of them! And we got these flying enemies back. I've missed them, but no, I haven't, actually. How m Oh my gosh, did they just spawn like 10 enemies in this room with me here? Hold on, take two, take two. We're gonna we're gonna just go guns blazing. We got rocket launcher. We got this. So first of all, take out. Oh, that's because they spawn behind me in the ceiling. Four, four flying enemies behind me in the ceiling. Can't escape from my rockets. Oh, maybe you can actually. That teeny bit. Okay, we're good there. Let's get that guy who's ducking. Oh, they spawned a point behind a sign that you can't even see. Ah. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're clean. That's 15 kills right there. Like 12 of them in that hole. Oh my gosh, another two turrets. Hope you don't mind. We love our turrets. Ah. Stop, please, with the turrets. Oh my gosh. Uh, I took two, two railgun hits. I was like, well, I'm on three health now. Uh, I'm, I'm actually in serious mode. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm really in serious mode, I tell you, because I'm just like, oh my gosh. I gotta just get through this bit, get through this whole bit without, like, suffering too hard. I swear, these turrets, I did not remember them being this obnoxious, but now I'm like, yeah, nah, I can, I can go another day without a turret. Or standing on that guy's grenades, which I know, you know, regular guy, but you, when you don't get the chance to wiggle around him, it's pain. Oh, my DNA is not on file. Where am, I, where am I getting shot from? Where? I think it's a crawly, yeah. Okay. We must initiate the scan. <laughs> this is a fun bit, though. Uh-oh. And then you just break that. And then you have another go. This time there's now no laser, so it can't tell you you're human, I guess. It's just like, well, nothing went off. I guess. Technically. So now we just continue on, I guess. 
Oh, but yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sort of works. Good enough. Waste, storage, and processing opened. Okay. Oh, hi there. They're always chilling as well. They don't quite, like, pull you out right away. I could really do without the turrets and everything. Oh my gosh, in this one room. Guys, chill. Chill. What is hitting me? What is... It's just, is that just the chain gunner back there? He's hitting me like that? Oh, sorry. There's, a, there's more medics and all this stuff. They need to just chill. They really need to just chill. There's so many dudes. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do I have an environmental suit? Don't. Interesting. I have a defender sphere. No idea what a defender sphere does. Does so. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm stuttering all day. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Boy. Boy. I, could, I could do without them jumping, I tell ya. How many more in this room? There's another one over there. Oh, I'm hearing the respawning. We got the respawning. Oh. I believe they, they heal off uh, dead enemies. So, that's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm like, as well, just activate one of these guys. It's like, okay, so it's just going to keep respawning up there. Also, enemy spawn behind me. Excuse me, again? Oh, Yeah, that, that's just another monster closet back here. Just spawns. Just opens up. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta take my mind off of things. Uh, there was one other game that I played this week. I didn't really, like, fully finish it, but I definitely have a decent understanding of what this game is. Uh, I played a game called Point Blank, which uh, I could definitely guarantee was an arcade game, but uh, got a very, very faithful uh, PlayStation 1 port, probably because uh, there's a lot of Namco um, games. That is a, yeah. There's a lot of Namco games that were made on similar hardware. Ridge Race is one of them, probably. Um, so it's probably like that. But uh, yeah, no, it's a very faithful-ish arcade port that, from the looks of it. Um, Point Blank is a uh, railgun game, so I'm playing it using the slightly unconventional control scheme of a Wii Remote. Um, I would love to get what's the what's the um the one uh, light gun that one guy made, and it's like it's a little pricey, but it is also you know a labor of love, and it's uh pretty cool for what it is because it uses a camera to just track that things are going good. Oh, the doors are sealed. So I think with that move, you can now activate this lift at least. I remember having like PTSD over this room and I can't remember quite why. It could be the room upstairs to be honest. Uh, but yeah, no, Point Blank is a light gun game. It's effectively, uh, think of it like a WarioWare minigame collection. You go through, um, each of the, the, uh, well, you've got four worlds. Uh, each world has four levels. You can choose which levels you want to do, but ultimately you kind of have to do all of them. Um, and each minigame lasts only a couple of seconds. So the ultimate, you know, the arcade game really only lasts like 10 minutes if you nail everything uh, going through it. Um, and uh, the minigames are all little shooting challenges. One of them is like shoot these bouncing balls. Uh, one of them is like uh, shoot... Um, what is it? Like... The, you know, these uh, cardboard cutouts of, of terrorists or something like that, and don't shoot the hostages, that kind of stuff. One is shoot an apple off a guy's head, one is shoot all these 
uh, ducks and targets and things like that. Pretty much, if you can think of something that involves shooting, uh, this minigame collection kind of has it. There's, uh, I think there's 48 minigames uh, around the original uh, arcade release, but there's an uh, enhanced um, mode, which contains, I think, 75 or so. Lots of different little minigames, and while they all sort of play quite similarly, and some of them are actually very similar to other ones, uh, I feel like there's some real good merit out of, like, the variety of the themes and songs and things going on uh, with every single one of these. I actually like a couple of them as well for being very similar, but it changes up some of the mechanics slightly. So, like, one of them is, like, um, you know, like, uh, shoot this, uh, like, you know, what's the term? Like, a marksman's little target, so it's like a little cardboard cutout with the person silhouette on it and, like, you know, bullseye up, like, placements on it. So it's like, try and get so many points from shooting at this, and then, uh, later on there's one where it's like, we've stacked like 38 in a row, just shoot them all in a row, and it's like, oh, okay. And then there's another one where it's like, okay, now there's 30, but they keep alternating between left and right, so you gotta keep going left and right, and they keep getting this a tad little bit smaller each time. There's a lot of fun things like that. I really like, um, just all, all these different, uh, you know, little mini games. Um, and it's good fun, and it's not, it's not too tricky. It's tricky enough to like, you know, eat some quarters, eat, eat a bunch of quarters as well, because uh, the game works off a three live system, and uh, every mini game you goof up, you lose a life. But also, if you, um, uh, if you, like, you can goof up a mini game not by just doing the objective in the mini game, but also if you hit any bombs or in some cases as well. Don't do oh my god, please stop with the turrets. Oh. Seriously, there's like nowhere safe to stand right now because there's just turrets everywhere. And then I've just got these railgun guys and the minigun guys ruining my day. And then this guy is like, oh my gosh, like, this is it. This is the PTSD room right here. Like, I'm trying to aim. I'm really trying my best to, like, aim while in motion here, but I can't, like, stop and just, like, think. M m there's so much going on. My brain can't comprehend right now. Well, I can't comprehend, but, like, I just gotta, like, chill for a moment. And having, like, the guys who spawn enemies just dancing around with all these, like, railgun guys is probably the cruelest thing I can think of. I think I had plenty of railgun shots, I could just continue lining them up. Power conduit. Look at that. Power's off, because I shot a thing. Whew. Oh my gosh. Um, now, point blank, uh, also, on top of that, like, okay, whoever did the retro achievement set, legend to you, because not only does he have just the typical, like, you know, oh, you know, beat the... What the... Oh, was I meant to, like, hurt the enemies? Oh. <laughs> Okay, sure. Um, not only does it have the typical, you know, beat the, the, the games on the different diff- or the modes on the different difficulty, but also then without a continue, which would be interesting, but also, uh, he's got ones that basically test the individual mini-games, and the very, very nice thing about the game is that you can go into a mode and just try out the mini-games at any difficulty you want, because the mini-games have different difficulties depending on whether they're in the hard modes or the easy modes or stuff like that. Um, uh, so props to the Retro Achievements guy for thinking of that. On top of that, the game has a RPG mode. Hilariously, you walk around a map by shooting where you want to go. And then, uh... I'm going to waltz right into an enemy, aren't I? Oh, i got to go back. I'm getting myself so turned around here, I tell ya. And you just meant to know that, ah oh, yes, this, led, this goes down now. That guy isn't going anywhere, he's just chilling. At least I can, like, see things in this room. But only to give me a plasma beam, which is just not a very useful weapon. Oh my gosh. Okay, sure. Um... But yeah, the RPG mode, and then you walk around, and then there's random encounters where suddenly an enemy will 
uh, you know, challenge you to a mini game, and uh, you beat him, you gain experience points and money. You use the money to buy items. I feel a little disappointed hiding in here, and I'm gonna get absolutely goofed by the next like platform that spawns in. There it is. <laughs> oh, very nice. Alright, good thing we got a ladder here. For some reason. Oh, wait. So it is up, but... Where? Oh! Do I really need to jump on that in order to do it? Oh, let me, let me try that again. Once more with Gusto. Oh, come on. I mean, that is most of the kills in this level, so... I didn't even need to use the adrenaline. And they hit a super shoddy around here. Nice. Now I go back to the ventilation shaft and we, we make our merry way onwards. Just launch into space. Okay, maintenance hangars. Oh, multiple hangars. Gain entrance to the waste disposal control. And have a primary entrance. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it based on just all these guys. I don't, I don't think there's any good weapon here. The worst part, he doesn't appear until you're sorted there. Then they care a ton. They care immensely about it. Distance. At least we have one weapon which works against them. Like, at least we got that. Might as well grab the other one. Or I guess I grab both. Okay. Could they really not think of a better place for the, for more than four of them? With a railgun guy as well, just for just for bonus points. Okay, three of them. Don't worry. It's only three. We've had six enemies in the level, and <laughs> either. Oh my gosh, I, uh, I can't get over it, I can't get over it. Please, please stop putting these on just like, directly next to me wall. Put them on the other side of the room, because at least I can like hide behind something. Instead of just immediately walk into a room, that laser is barely on screen. And then suddenly, yep, no, you're, you're stuffed, you goofed. Like that, again. It's like, why? Why have a turret right there? Oh my gosh, jeez. <laughs> Disneyland jump scare right there when you just hear a loud piston. Oh, well, there goes that weapon. That was a good kill. That was a good one. <laughs> Alright, security and access doors unlocked! Exclamation mark. That was another Disneyland jump scare. Oh! They, they just can't, they can't let up, can they? Just can't let up with the turrets. Oh, there's there's more? Oh, sorry, there's one right behind me. Again, that's that's another PTSC room right there. This whole this whole DLC, I'm 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 feeling it more and more. Just how like absolutely like crusty all these enemies are. I get it, I feel it, I feel it now. So, my like, bad feelings about the laser enemies, I think that was like, a way of coping, I don't know, 
but like, you remember the, all the laser enemies from the last expansion? I feel like it's more, you know, the turrets have their own lasers. And they don't, nothing actually shoots you with a laser, but I think it is that. It's that I'm used to just seeing all these lasers and then going, Ugh, what, the worst thing in the world, but uh... But no, it's, it's, it's this, it's that. Every single time I walk into a room that is so late in activating, And then it's just popping you from the other side of the map. Primary entrance door open! That is the worst place for to be in. <laughs> These guys pop out from somewhere. I'm very irritated by enemies appearing right where you just came as well. Like, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that was not there before. <laughs> well, it was probably there the whole time, but. Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 We've acknowledged. We've acknowledged what the map design is like. Oh, stop! Oh, please. What was this way in? Anyways. Oh, another, another wall. The worst part is that it's going to be backtracking, except for a, a turret somewhere. Oh, that's not a turret, at least. Also, uh, no, uh, power shield? I don't know, maybe- yeah, either it's like I just haven't seen a secret with it, or... They've really not been giving it to me. Oops. That was a bit of a drop. Did we go out this far? Excuse me, all the way in the other- other hatch? That's right, it was, uh, some needless backtracking. Very needless backtracking. I also remembered this. I really did remember this. Wow. Some really worthless backtracking going on. Because now you can go into this room. One last room with a bunch of enemies. And I lost all my health going in there as well. Can you tell I'm frustrated? Can you tell I... That was a good headshot there. That guy's still there, somewhere. Please stop spawning them. Please stop, just... Just fight fair, man. Fight fair. Oh my gosh. Where's the music gone as well? It's just Silent Doom, 32x Doom. Not 32x Doom, this is a. Uh, um, Jaguar Doom, that's the one with no soundtrack. Sequence complete. You can now go through this big platform. <laughs> there we go. Now we're back up again, to get the remaining 40 kills or so. Hi there, how you doing? Ow. Sometimes I just get a hit from those and I don't exactly know what I did wrong that very second. They just shot the right way that moment. This is, um... Oh, I was like, where is this guy chilling? But, uh, we got a lot of dudes, a lot of gunners. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. No, 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 we're all good. We're all good. Oh, stop! That was the wind down. I'm just waiting for that animation to stop. Oh my gosh, please. 
All right, I'm gonna need some health game Black hole rounds is not exactly what I asked for but sure That went down didn't it that like crushed down Let's do like a stamp of approval right now or there it is There you go who I need an environment suit for? I'm not too sure. Ooh. Just turret spot right there. Again, in an area we've been to. But now I guess I can go back up here and continue on. Blue lasers. Ooh. I probably want that lowered, right? Stop, please! Can you just not keep reviving things? Just, just leave me in peace, man. Leave me in peace. Oh, another turret, another turret. I am, you, you can really just smell the exhaustion in my voice now. I'm just so done with turrets, I'm so over it. The best part as well, this is still unit 3, we still got, I think, two levels left in the next unit. And then there's like, a boss unit. We're almost there. We're almost there, we're almost there, we're getting there. Alright, now we need to destroy any remaining resistance, such as that guy, and that guy who spawned right behind me, because they're level design. It's all- it's all- oh my gosh, please. Please. Oops. <laughs> I- I- I'm- I'm sort of at a loss of words now, it's just... Eternally getting gaffed on by just- Ugh. Please. <laughs> oh, I shot him just that tad bit too soon. Now there's some guy's gonna drop, you know, grenades on me. We're good? Is it like a fuse? Before it goes down to the next level? And I get pelted with even more turrets? I think it is, actually. Oh, that's not a turret. Although I've had the uh, adrenaline still chilling there. Okay, so, yep, okay. Up we go, up we go. Was this guy trying to pot shot me the whole time? Hmm. Oh boy. I hate this guy, I hate him. Just Erase him from existence. No, that's more- oh my gosh. How many enemies? How many enemies can he spawn from in there? No, oh, he's- he's- mm, they're chaining! They're chaining! That was the worst thing I think I've seen in a while. This is the reason why Archviles don't revive other Archviles. Why do they... why? Why? No, no. And we're back to an old map again, because why not? Secure the experimental fighter. I'm an experimental fighter. Oh, that's what they mean. That's right, did you ask for a boss battle? Because we're giving it to you. That's right, just, just drop, drop the quad. Just drop the quad and then immediately annihilate my, you know, my existence sky high. Take another crack at that. Actually, we should probably use a chain gun on this one. Chain gun. Easy money. 
The chain gun's great. I love it. Probably a bit overkill for the quad damage as well, but yeah. Alright, I want to know which developer that was. I said hi, you know. Okay, so we just, uh... Oh, we gotta use the train? You gotta use a train? You can't just catch the plane? No. Gotta use a train. At least they give you some armor and things like that, so that's all good. All good. All cool and good. Okay, that's, uh... Unit 3 done. It's not as long as the last one, but it was, uh, lengthy. Give me a stretch and a flex. Oh, oh, heads up as well. Uh, I, I'm not going to physically be there, but the, uh, the Master MX-5 Cup starts on... Thursday, I think? Is it the Thursday? Usually they do a Saturday, Sunday. But, I don't know, I thought I, thought I saw 24th, but it might have been 26th. And... Okay, don't go, don't go down there. Don't go down there. Here I am, just trying to run away from two turrets right off the bat. Three turrets. There's just no chill. There's no downtime. Um, but yeah, the MX-5 Cup starts again. I really enjoyed watching it um, last year. Uh, it's good fun, because um, it's just like, I don't know, one, it's a junior category in the sense of like, you don't really have to be famous, really rich even, to participate in it. You just get a, you, know, you have a, you have a stock MX-5. Well, not stock, but a, a, a two-spec MX-5. Have a go. You know, pay for damages, you know, it's not it's, it's not cheap to enter, but it's also, like, relative to other sports, you don't need a multi-million dollar team, you just need a, a couple of tens of thousands and that's it. Like, hey, you know, if you if you got a passionate hobby, you can probably just enter and then have a go. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, like, it's seven weekends, one a month or so, I think they skip some months. Um... And they just do two races that are 45 minutes long, see how well you go. Try and lead some laps, try and do some fastest times. Um, and, uh, yeah. No, it's, a good, it's a good romp, but, like, legit, like, they compete hard. I remember the, yeah, it was like the first race of last year, it was, like, three people within, like, um, like, a second. And, like, the top two was, like, actually a frame apart, like, 17 milliseconds or something like that. It was like, what, what a zany close end. Um, so I, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I know F1 starts at the end of next month. Uh, I followed that a ton. I didn't have a lot to say last year. Last year was just like, hey, Ms. Max, oh my god, please. Last year was just like, uh, hey, Max Verstappen wins 20 races out of 23. Uh, you know, it's great to have a dominant season, I guess. Um, I'm going to get very bored of it if it keeps happening. Um... But, you know, it obviously will never last forever. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it is a combination of Max is one of the best drivers. You cannot, I don't know if you could formally say he is the best driver on the grid right now. But he is certainly, like, if he's not the best, he is, like, top three, at the very least. Um, but then also the car was way like, oh, hi there, boss enemy. It's been ages since I've seen him. Ow. Oh, jeez. That's what I get for standing there. I like how that was the turret that did that. Oh, please don't tell me that's another spawner. It's another spawner. Not to be confused with the spawns from, uh... Quake 1. Which were kind of annoying in their own right, but... Please, I just... I just please! irritate a lot by that but uh yeah i don't know like the whole max has been dominating every race um you know there's some points in the season and i think it got a little closer near the end um you know it was less dominating and more just he's just that tad better 
but uh, it's still, you know, like, he still won 20 out of 23 races. Like, that's that's insane. And his teammate won, uh, you know, two of those remaining three. So, a very dominant year for the team, just regardless. Um, I'm just hearing him constantly spawn more enemies on the side. Makes me cry on the inside. I thought that, oh, that's just the sound he makes. You need the antimatter pod, you don't have it. Oh my gosh, man. Duh. You still don't own a Sega CD? What are you waiting for, Nintendo to make one? You have seen the games, right? Wrong answer. I've never felt more, like, intimidated by an ad in my life, and I'm not even American. We got an ammo depot! Woo! Acquire that antimatter pod. Well, I do like box levels, so... They got me there. Who decided to have this many turrets? It's, it's just absurd. The best part as well is that it is like... I mean, I know that they spawn in like very particular locations, but it is still like entities on a map. I think actually... I'm not too sure, because they'd have to move a wall every time to do it, so... Um, yeah, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Like, there's always something breaking when, when it happens. Um, but it is difficulty gated. Different difficulties have more or fewer turrets, and just, yeah, the, <laughs> remember, the original versions, they didn't die like that. They didn't just die like that, they took a beating. So just imagine how much frustration I have, and, uh, yeah, just multiply it by five, because that's how much damage you had to do. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to, um, to F1. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't remember those guys doing as much damage, but... I don't know, I think it's just because there weren't that many of them. Any other ones. Like, legit, again, like, yeah. The turrets seem like they're everywhere, but trust me, these gunners are everywhere. They're actually just everywhere. Not even the... I think maybe if you sum up the different types of, like, little guys, maybe that adds up to a closer amount. But it is still, like... I don't think it compares quite yet. Why can I stand up here? Oh, because there's a silencer. The, the best item. I'm so glad I could pick up a silencer. Very nice. There's another one. Just right here, you know? The super shoddy, at the very least, is a great weapon for those guys, but it's not a great weapon for any other enemy here. Including these guys, who are just... They they have effectively replaced the actual, like, flying guys as well. But, eh, that's okay. They're not that bad. They're not much worse. Well, that's a fun noise, isn't it? Secure the locks, okay. Proceed with caution. I eat caution for breakfast. Or something. Oh, we've been in here. Oh, look, another guy. Uh, what other things are we excited for for the rest of the year? Th there was a new uh, Omar Rodriguez Lopez album. I, I think I mentioned it at the end of last week's stream. I have not listened to it in its entirety. I have a feeling it's probably a lot of, um, Self-titled Mars Volta sounding uh, songs. Just things that are like s sort of B takes, B sides on that. Okay, I'm 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 feeling good with the door. I'll check the door. Oops. 
I appreciate these guys are very rocketable though. They don't dodge too much. There you go. There you go. Oh, I ate the one for- Oh! That was a very pain moment. That was a very, very pain moment. Oh, hi there. Oh, I, I'm actually in serious mode right now. I'm just like, yep, nope, I gotta, gotta just, just straight, just, just get him, just get this guy, get, get him out of here. Lose all my health, you know. Press the button, realize I need the pass, and then open this door and get killed by another, like, two guys. Whoop. Oh. Pre-firing on that, you see that? I try to get you so early there. That guy on the ledge, you know, I feel like he's gonna try and ruin my day no matter where I am. That was a se- oh, that was a secret? Oh. We're going with the rail. No, um, TLDR or TLDW on this one, uh, oh boy, oh boy. How did I shoot? That was a secret. Oh, the bottom of that? Does it have to be an explosive? Oh, there's the, there's the, the double damage. Neat. Sure. 52. 52 kills. <laughs> I could go back in that previous level. There's still plenty of... Please! Please! Just give up the ghost already. I want to go back to that first level, the, the mine level with the weird backtracking. Can we just, can we just go back to that? They really loved their spiders, didn't they? They really did. But yeah, I... What was going through their minds? Maybe, okay, listen, if I can't get a, a, a meeting with Samuel Villarreal, best I can do is understand these guys. Because the, wor the worst part as well is that, like, you know, this and, um, also is this just leading into another level? Okay. Oh. I believe this is just, yeah, this is just a previous map, so don't worry about it being too many more kills. And we got some more adrenaline, in case you were using it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to chat with, like, a level designer on this one, because I really want to, like, understand what was going on um, in their heads, and also, like, you know, to them, it probably did make sense, putting a, you know, a big guy right at the top of that, you know, lift. You know, perfect sense. They have barely used the big guys. And then they just said, yeah, you know what? Right there. And they'd be like, what do you mean? We gave you the adrenaline right there. And it's like, yeah, but... Nah, like... <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a turret? It's one of each. One of each. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> my life is complete. This game, this game is, this game is killing me. Let's use the double. We have medics, healing medics, healing medics. The, the adrenaline did not last as long as I wanted it to either. Seriously, that was that was just a, a cake ton of enemies. Oh, that's a wolf. <laughs> oh, let's do that quick. And I can get the, the pop on him. Nope, I don't want to take a hit there. I want to just get him. There you go. There you go. <sighs> and then it's locked anyways. He was just chilling next to a locked door. Oh. Turret nightmares. Turret nightmares. It's weird as well, because like everything else, it's like I don't mind like some of the you know some of the new enemies. Uh, actually, no. What, it's, I'm trying to think like what what new enemies do we have? We've got turrets, like that one, just just there. We've got the you know the flying guys that shoot lasers. It's like I'm indifferent towards them. I don't love them. I don't hate them. And then uh, the spider things, it's like, yeah, but they crawl around all over the place and they're kind of annoying. And then the black hole spawner guys, and it's like, yeah, no, I could do, I could do without. Yeah, like, why, why are even some existing enemies just so awkward? And it's because you spawn them behind me like this. This is the reason. I had so much more health going into that. Like, just getting with the Tesla. I, I, I can't explain. Other than this is probably the most horrendous, like, enemy placement I've seen in a while. He's just there. Get zapped! Get zapped! Get zapped! There you go. That's what they're for. <laughs> That's all that they're there for. Just to help me get those. The worst part about those turrets is that, like, he's on the top, so I'm not shooting a target. I'm shooting like an object hanging out from the from the ceiling. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. I, I think that's actually like 150 or something in the whole game. It's it's an absurd amount, and it sort of sours the whole thing. Like. For whatever gains is actually going on here, it's like, you know, like, here's a key. I can't get it because I just hit a button that lets me, you know, walk back the other way. Or, or did I? Sorry, it's cleansing the ore. Sorry, we're cleansing the ore. We're, we're doing it. Now the compression chamber is activated. Like back here or like... And now I can get a security pot. Like why'd I have to wait? Why? Okay, so now we, we take the exit. Come back. Do something, get the heck out of dodge. Do my bunny hop. Alright, still got a handful- oh my gosh, just- This should be a cardinal sin, me having to fight an enemy in a loading zone right there. 
and having a turret just in general. That's a cardinal sin. Okay, so where are we going? We're just we're just crossing the block. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I don't know, there's probably a bunch of exciting things happening, uh, not January at this point, uh, although a little bit of January left, but, uh, yeah, we're nearing that point. Oh, hey, it's the sledge. Oh, gosh, he's launching boxes at me. Can't beat me with that. The box. Also, excuse me, it was a hallway? Just a health hallway. Okay, sure. I was very confused about that decision right there. Oh, this area looks familiar. I don't remember that guy still being there, though. But yeah, I, I guess as well, like, the backtracking doesn't flow really as nicely as it should. And I guess, you know, like, there's an art to it, but then again, oh, nah, Strife didn't really do it all the time either, to be honest. Strife winged it because it, you know, you could run fast. Oh, oh, we got two, oh my gosh, I can aim. Okay. Force field. Cool. Okay. Uh, back the other way we go. Oh. About to get double turreted. Can I get it from here? Oh, I can. Heck yeah. So many turrets. I'm, 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 I'm desensitized now. It's like it's been a, it's been a long two and a half hours, or really two hours. Of just seeing these uh, turrets, but oh boy, I've just gone from enthusiasm to, you know, his spirit's crushed. Enthusiasm dwindling. Sort of because every encounter is like this kind of like joust. You just kind of have to like chill, sit back, just get like. Bring out the shoddy again. At least they give you a lot of ammo as well, like... You know, like, I had plenty of shotgun left over. But they're not kind on the health. And they will do that to you. Yo dog, I heard you like enemies, so we put an enemy on your lift and then made you press the button again. And then again. remember if this was one of those ones. I don't think it was, but... Yeah. Yeah, and all the new weapons don't really get any any, any use. Uh, including, as well, including everyone's favorite, the not even the blast of the, the chainsaw. Which is incredibly pointless, because all the enemies I'm complaining about are turrets, flying guys, and uh, <laughs> grenade launcher dudes. There's no, there's no victory here. There is no, like... No reason why everything just doesn't fit at all. Um, what's the antimatter? We just we just activated turrets because why not? So we got to pull the power cube to disable the yellow fields. The power cube is gonna show up there. At some point, be ready. <sighs> I got my adrenaline back, at least it's that. Yoink! Yoink! Okay, so we've now got the core, we can now return to the munitions plant. That's right, more backtracking. I mean, we're nearly at the end, and yet still, there's that teeny little tiny bit of backtracking. Still just chilling. Still just going, you know? Lingering in the back of the mind, like a... 
Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say like a malignant tumor. That's not. That's a very, very cruel way of describing it. Um. How do like writers do it? They're like you know. The the best writers always have like a way that they will describe things, and it's like I don't know. There's a fun literate style to it. It's like musicians, I guess. It's just like you know, if you don't know what you're doing, it's like it's all chaos. Uh, okay. Pop it in the machine. You had to know that you went to that machine, and not the other one. And then you just casually take a bomb out. And now we go all the way back down, and we destroy a well. And they'll probably spawn one enemy somewhere. This door wasn't open before, so I guess there's that. Oh, check it out, it's BFG. BFG wasn't even enough to kill this guy. Alright, at least we got our, um, our, uh, National Socialism Iconography back up. At least we got that going. Okay, activate the gondola. I always like calling it a gondola, even though it's not at all. Oh. Can I just get in it? Alright, see ya. See ya, homeboys. I'm out. See ya. We're almost there. We're almost home. But, you can't finish a, a game without at least one boss fight, even though we had the kind of one a little ago. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Out of the plant and into the generator. So we gotta destroy the gravity well using this bomb. There we go. Easy enough, right? Easy enough. So I oh, <laughs> there's two two kills. The widow's lair. Um. Get him out of here! What's he doing in there? He was so close as well, this guy. Poor guy, Weimar. Oh well. Alright, well, they're giving you all the goods, because they know what you're going to be, you know, doing. Welcome to an actual boss fight. We put a little... Well, she spawns things, but you know what? It's the final boss. I don't have plot damage. So, uh, we're going to have to, we're going to have to wing this the old-fashioned way. With a big force gun. Also, she's really tall and has boobs. She also keeps spawning these little ants, which is not that bad. But, uh, yeah, she's clearly got more health than you'd want, so... At least the ants can- oh, I guess I can shoot them. But it's not that bad. Oh, that was it. Easy. Enough BFG shots. I'm gonna kill all these ants, which don't count as kills. They figured it out. They figured out how to spawn enemies. Don't say Hexen had spawning enemies, because I know it did. So what's in here? What's in my door? Hello? Hello? That's right, we got another one. <laughs> I appreciate the double boss. Listen, they, they did one thing right. They did one thing right, and that's double boss. I could do without this this attack, though, I swear. I know it's that plasma gun, though. You gotta, you gotta show someone using it. Okay, well, uh... Drop a Tesla. Drop a Tesla. Drop a Tesla. Drop a Tesla. I'm just anti matter suck them out of existence, apparently. Uh, let's go with the rockets. I heard the screech. I was like, is that enough? Oops. 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 Oh, oh, oh. I saved somewhere in the middle. Don't worry. Too bad the draw distance is a little low.
There we go. And also all the ants die, because why not? We got a very satisfying explosion though. That's that's fun, so. Anyway, uh let's uh let's, let's go up the lift. And uh well. I mean I guess we're rewarded. I guess. Uh then you have to somehow know where things go. <laughs> you just have to know where things are. It, 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 I don't know, it could have been a little simpler. You have to spot this like invisible pathway in this really dark corridor. It's Tron 2.0. Just to hit a button, deactivate the force field, and then you gotta go all the way back around here, through this door. There's no enemies as well, and I don't think there's a time limit as well, it's just... Put the thing in. Now you gotta get out. Using the transport room, which is all the way back where we came from. Or is it? Oh, it's not back where it came from, because we fell down a pit. It'd be here. And now you can get away. And there you go. That was it. That was the final boss. And that was Quake 2 Expansion Pack number 2 Ground Zeroes. Uh, developed by... Nerve so Nerve Software? Not Nerve Software. Although a bunch of them did go on to Nerve Software. So if you ever played the um the Doom 10th Anniversary uh, No Room in Hell uh, episode, which I kind of like. I felt like they did a good job with that. So I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm very surprised that like this is as uh, painful as it is. The final boss is good. They had a good idea and it's actually, it was good. I liked it. Even if, you know. BFG sort of does the job and they give you a BFG right there before the end of the game. What about the others? What about the others? Just justify get large amounts of demolition. But yeah, that's it. I could do without turrets and all the spawning enemies. It was very, very, very annoying. Very annoying. But yeah, that's, that's that. So with that, uh, we're almost, well, we're almost done, but uh, in the next stream, we'll do Quake 2 64, the Nintendo 64 levels that don't really, they're sort of related to the regular Quake 2, but not really. But we'll check that out next week. And if I've got some time, I'll check out some Call of the Machine, but if not, we'll spam in all the Call of the Machine in one last stream after that. So that'll be it. Until then, thank you guys so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this or didn't enjoy this, uh, you can follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube where there'll be the VOD if you miss bits of this, uh, cause, uh, I don't know, these streams get very long, so, uh, all that good stuff. Um, you can also follow on Pleroma where I sometimes have bad takes about graphics cards and other kinds of things that I find, but usually not a lot, but, yeah, it's a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, other than that, oh my gosh. I need to, like, see someone about turrets. I'm actually, like... <laughs> I'm now, like, looking at my walls, expecting a panel to flip over and the spherical thing with a laser on it to pop out. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll recover. Don't worry, everyone. And hopefully you'll recover, because we won't see any of that next week for Quake... Quake 264. So until then, stay safe, eat your greens, don't think about turrets or respawning enemies, don't think about any of that. Just, it's chill, it's cool, it's over. Take a deep breath, whoo, whoo, you know, that's all good, so, see ya.